All right. This is session uh, nine. nine. Hold on, hold on, Josh. Did we have to upgrade our characters or something? Oh my god. I have no words for you. <laughs> In the amount of time it. I wanted to wait for the recording to start to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it took us an hour to get the recording going. In that time, you could have leveled up four times. <laughs> Uh, in the hour we took, an hour, I told you, Jules, one hour. <laughs> All right. Time we're starting. No, it's your fault, Josh. Sure. You're the one who said, look, we're ready to go, when it's only... What? No, Ty's just sitting. No, Ty's sitting in. He's just sitting in to listen. Hey, Mike, has a picture now. <laughs> yeah, Mike, he somehow got a picture. Wait, I got a picture? Yes, you're Yeah. We watched you pacing. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. Okay, I was like, what? And then I see you and Liz, it's Liz! <laughs> we all have a little cabin fever, apparently. Yes. All right. So, this is uh, session nine of Starfinder. This is, uh, Starfinder! Death Sun. Oh, so young, dude. Technically, Star is technically uh, book two of Dead Suns, where we're going to go way off the rails. Ooh. It is also uh, ten days into win? ten days oh, into the Corona died. quarantine, so oh, we're all a little bit cagey, <laughs> a little no, cabin fever. And when we last left off, you guys had um, made it to the drift rock. Jules, they're recording everything you say. Oh, you had made it to the drift rock. You had made it back from the drift rock. You found that it was an ancient alien device. You had. Um, Left there, returned to the station, <laughs> met up with Gavrilar Snor, got your rewards. Despite Ghost's best efforts to get more out of him, he was unsuccessful. You may or may not have done some shopping. Um, did Ghost buy anything, Bob? Uh, yes, he did. I had uh, 2750 to spend. It was a difficult decision to augment himself and get his synapses working very quickly. Or in the alternative, he could have gotten a really nice armor. Uh, he decided right. to get the really nice armor, so he now owns a very expensive suit of S Tech Suit Two, which changes. Ooh, fancy! Yeah, kinetic armor class plus five, energy armor class plus four. So Damn. that could be handy, and it has three armor upgrade slots, uh, which are currently empty. But I have a proposal. Uh, we have a yeah. spare force field that we found that takes up two armor upgrade slots. So if nobody else is interested in that or have the armor to support it, perhaps rather than sell it and get pennies on the dollar, perhaps I could attach that to this armor. And that's it. He has no money after that. And the objections to him taking the force field? Nope. Nope. Go for it, man. What is that's one temporary... Yeah, it's one. It, it's a total of uh, one temporary hit point every round, and every time if you lose it, it restores and it costs a battery charge. So it's not a lot. <laughs> I don't want it. Don't eight o'clock. So, all right, uh, Mikey, did you? Uh, I did not. I kind of. Want... Jeff, did you buy anything? <laughs> no, he wants to watch this. No, Mikey, Mikey, you didn't do a personal upgrade? You could do plus two to your stats for 1,400 credits. To one stat, not all the stats. Correct. It's, it's, sorry, only, it's only a one stat, Bob. And, yeah, so I agree, I agree with Josh. I, that was a lot for just one stat. So I, I, I don't know. I haven't figured out what I want to do, so I'm, I'm okay just staying where I am right now. <laughs> all right. I know Jeff actually did his level up for Nala finally. What? You should all be level three. Did you buy anything for Nala? What's the um, increase in um, ability there? What, what you just said with Mikey. Uh, which one did you upgrade? Constitution, which was uh, at a seven. Oh, <laughs> nice choice. <laughs> how many hit points did you have so before? Now only how, minus how, one. how many do you have now versus before? Only minus one? Is that what you mean? What? The total hit points. Smart. Total hit points. What did that take you to? Thank you. Oh my god. Nice. Oh, and uh, Jeff, one other question. Personal upgrades come in three forms. Cybernetic, uh, biological, or like a hybrid magic. Which of the three did you choose? 
Yeah, first one. <laughs> Cybernetic? <laughs> Biologic. Is it? Did you really think he was going to know the answer to that? Well, he's got, <laughs> like, you know, some of these are really interesting. Like one of them, I think the hybrid, you get infused with these worms that are magical in nature and they eat away at you and become a symbiote inside of your body so that when you take damage, it heals you. But it's actually these worms inside of your bloodstream versus cybernetic. Is that, is that a gold? What I got was a uh, augmentation to my adrenal gland. <laughs> ah, nice. Okay. It produces extra adrenaline when needed. Oh. All right. Five. five. Adam, did you buy anything? No, I'm short about 500 credits on it. Buy. Okay. Five to. And Jules, did you buy anything? I bought the jump jets. Jules bought jump jets. Ooh, what did jump jets do again? It's pretty. It's literally just like. They allow you to jump, but you can go up to, um, you can fly up to 30 feet with a maximum height of 10 feet or fly up to 20 feet straight up. That's nice. It's part of your move action. I believe it also allows some additional control if you're working in zero G. That's really Good nice. Choice. Good choice. All right. Uh, as is GM, I didn't level up. So. Oh, wait, uh, one other question. This is for the Los Cintas. So... Ilisi and Nala, do you want to spend 200 credits and give yourself the ability to see in the dark? Because you're the only two people in the party who need light. And if you add that to your armor, then you can see in the dark. You'll have uh, infrared vision. Does that require... So, do you have 95 left? No, now? I will have 95 if I buy that. So it's fine. We're going to get more money after we meet with Chiske. Hmm. Are you going to do it, Jules? You just need to spend it ready. I'll do it. Nice. That just leaves Nala, the only one who needs light. Nala, How much was that? 200 credits. Yeah, I can, Bobby, did you send it to the armor up? What, 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 where was that? Underneath, like... Hello, is that? Wait, where would you buy that? What would it be called? It's, an it's arm under armor upgrades. It's only because I'm looking at the page right now. Um, it's armor upgrades. It's called infrared sensors. It's literally the first option. That's on the, in the in the core book. He's I think he's talking yeah. about the app. Oh yeah, in the PC Gen app, it doesn't exist. Well, that's why I didn't find it. Yeah, <laughs> she couldn't find jump jets in there either. Yeah, it, none it, of the upgrades are in PC Gen. Now, Adam, Adam, I think you were trying to get to the point I was going to ask. Does this take up an upgrade slot in the armor? Because they might not have these. Yes. It oh, it does. It takes up an upgrade slot in the armor. Yes. That's fine. I can just I have lights as a spell. Okay, so so Jewel says no. She's keeping her money. She has lights as a spell. Does second skin have a upgrade spot or no? Yes, it does. I think your jump jets for your upgrade slot too. Yeah, I think so. Hey, Jules, Jules, how much? How many? How many credits do you need? Well, I will do the uh, infravision in my upgrade spot for my second skin. Does that make sense? Yes, and you now have dark vision with a range of sixty feet. I, I have I have yet to like spend any of my credits, Jules. Yeah. What do you need? No, no, no. No, I don't need credits. I just um I decided not to. I don't have room in my armor. She uses. Oh, okay. Okay. The jump jets use her upgrade slot. Oh, Unless you buy her new. What's that? Do I like my armor? You have a Yosoki sugar daddy. I I really need to get new armor, but. A <laughs> uh, Yosoki sugar daddy. Yeah, there you go. Mikey, we will assume yeah. you purchase new armor. You will tell me what it is between this session and next. Yes. All right. Um, going forward, I will open up the Packed Worlds and the Armory books for you guys. Ooh. You can get them both in the trove because you didn't have enough options. So <laughs> I'll regret that decision later. Yes. Yeah, you know, all right. uh, Josh, that's the one thing I was thinking as I was pouring over all the equipment in the core rule book is that you know, I don't think I have enough options. They're too limited here. I wish, I wish there were more weapons that I could choose from. I need like another 20 pages of weapons to go through. <laughs> you need a book dedicated to it. Seriously. But anyway, <laughs> you met with Grevelar Snore. You had your, um, got your reward. You, you forgot uh, to mention the part where we were bombed by adoring fans you were bombed by you you were molested by adoring fans on your way there until Grevelashnor rescued you from those guys um you went to dinner 
Mikey, I did have a question for you. So if you get the trade, you won't touch that ball. Of course he does. I just want to make you uh, I'll come back in a second. Yeah. You went to. Oh, he's back. Hey, Mikey. Yeah. When, when you got back, you had said you downloaded everything you could from the artifact into your exocortex. Did Correct. you provide that to Chiskix? Did, I'm sorry, did I what? Did you share that information with Chiskix in the, in the yes. Starfighters? Okay. Yes. Thank you. That makes my life easier. Hmm. Um, yeah, went, I, I feel like I can trust him so far. So, yeah, this kicks into them. <laughs> the um, you went to dinner. You were provided um, hollow um, trigger and both provided damage hollow disguises by Diamond. You fought the sentries, Jeff. You, uh, by the, I can't hear Josh over the, like the scrape. <laughs> I think that might be Mikey. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not creeping anything. Okay. Um, you, fought, you, you fought the robot sentries that the guy who was uh, after Ghost and Trigger brought. Ultimately, a, a group of young desk joined and um, placed Ozzy kind of as a religious idol for them. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you might have slept through that, Jeff. If you read the box. It was very. <laughs> Wait, it gets better later. <laughs> um, once that resolved, you uh, received a request from Chiskis to join them tomorrow. It is late at night. It is up to you what you do at this point. Sleep. You are pretty tired. DC's going to bed. Soldier. Soldier. I think it makes sense for everybody to get a good night's rest. It's been kind of a crazy week or so. Yeah, how long are we? Like a week? Couple and days. then can we can we ask Chiska if we can meet him tomorrow? Yeah, Chiska said she, she, they wanted to meet you in the morning. Oh. Mr. Roboto's gone, right? Mr. Roboto stayed with Grevelar Snore. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I tell Ghost that it's probably good if we get some rest. And then when everybody goes to their room, Ghost, we sneak out and partay. Uh... <laughs> Trigger, uh, instead of you call out in the room and emerging from the bathroom is a doddering old albino ancient looking uh, Yosoki. He's kind of walking with a bit of a, a like a, a hump in his back. He's crutched over. His fingers are kind of gnarled. He's got bifocals on. Nobody wears bar bifocals anymore. Look at you, Sonny! You are so young! Look at you! You are so young! I am so old! Ghost, what, what are you doing? What is that? What? I can't hear you, Sonny! I have bad ears! Speak louder! Go, go, what, what do you mean you have bad ears? How, how could you have bad ears? You're the same age as me! The old rat touches his, uh, his belt and then suddenly where the old rat was, there's Ghost. It is me, it is Ghost! Ha ha, I fooled you! Oh, Ghost, why are you doing that to me? No, wait! He pushes his waist and the old guy appears again. What is that, Sonny? I cannot hear you. <laughs> what do you think, Trigger? Pretty good, no? I like it, I like it. I think this will be helpful. You have one too, what does yours look like? <laughs> what does mine look like? Yes, what is, let's see That's what you pretty. have. Uh, clearly, his looks like your girl, like like an old, <laughs> an old, an old lady is so cute. <laughs> probably your wife. <laughs> That's pretty personal, Ghost. We should wait on that one. Uh, okay. <laughs> this will come in handy. I like this. I the, think point being, the point being, you were able to travel without being completely conspicuous of your identities for your numerous wanted posters. So, all right. Um, you guys go to bed? Uh, yeah, bed. Trigger and Ghost are definitely going out and partying. We're going back to the Fusion Queen. We're going to... Go, yep, we're going out. Yep, we're spending credits. All right. We're going to have a good time. Oh, oh um, the goblins had elected to stay on the ship, which you still haven't named, and I will refer to as Lollipop until you do. I like Lollipop. Were you um, okay with them? I think, I think we should call it the Lewis... No, lollipop. After the, the ancient explorers, Lou. Lollipop. You guys can discuss this offline. Lisi <laughs> likes lollipop. 
I was just waiting for somebody to say yes, and then we'd name it. But if that's not going to no, happen, no, I, I, I was I was chewing. I I live right next to Lewis. <coughs> Lewis and Clark County. I'm good. Oh no, shit. <laughs> I mean, Lewis and Clark literally came through Missoula for explorations. Okay. But this is Lewis and. I know it's the same thing in my mind. Uh. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, I assume you go to breakfast. I want the goblins. Oh, so you're leaving the goblins on the ship for now? With the understanding that they are not capable of making any changes without uh, your knowledge? Or did you kick them off? No, they're on. No, they're fine staying there. They're on? Okay. I was going to make Chris play one of the goblins. And if Joel joined us, he would have got the other one. <laughs> but anyway. Um, you meet with Chiskix the next morning. And uh, you walk in, and you'll remember that Chiskix is not a male or a female. Chiskix is a they. They are the ones who carry the pregnancy, I believe it is, not the male or the female. Greetings, my friends. Congratulations on your success. Why does Chiskix sound so dramatically different? Because I'm trying to find the right voice for Chiskix, because we're going to have to deal with Chiskix for a while. Um, it is the most resounding success. However... What you have discovered is very, very troubling for many of us within the society. Using the information that was provided to us by Trigger, we have determined that the Drift Rock is actually part of an ancient weapon Whoa. capable of extinguishing a sun. Oh. Did he go? Wait, who's going to do that? <laughs> who, who, who's any star? Trigger. Trigger. Oh, that. But I, I mean, in. Oh, God, I just lost it. <laughs> it must impose on you further because we need these star finders must find and destroy this weapon before others do. Because if others find it, it will be the end of life as we know it. It's the there are end cults. of the world. You're not helping me. There are cults that would destroy, use it indiscriminately. Even the Vesk would be hard-pressed not to use it against us. If the swarm found it, I cannot begin to begin begin to guess the problems that they would cause. But this is the is the weapon now broken because there's a big chunk of it out in orbit in the quarantine I, zone. I, I do not know. Since since this was only a piece and we were only able to analyze parts of it, I have to ask your help to continue on this. Since the scoured stars incident. The Starfinder roster has been severely depleted, especially with field agents like yourselves. We need you to continue the... the uh. Wait, I don't want to be depleted. What is the Scoured Stars incident? Is that something we all know already? No, I'll let, I will let Ayalisi or Nala fill that in once I'm done talking. Okay. Oh, so it's gone. Let me finish my speech. Jeff was so we, excited we that he read the... Continue search for information about what the drift rock was. We have found some leads of similar artifacts with similar writings on the jungles of Yucalem and Castrovel. We have a junior agent there working at the university. He is able to put you in touch with a Dr. Solis Starney, a Sothen, who is an expert at ancient Yucalem. Hopefully he can help us provide additional information. Is that where they built the ukuleles? So, if you anyone wants to fill in the star, Scoured Stars incident, or anything they know about Yucalam, or Castrovel, you're welcome to it. Castrovel oh. is very close to um, Absalon Station. It's actually one planet away. Just quick hop on over. Nala? Are you Nala? Yes, what? <laughs> <laughs> scoured Stars, go. As you Scoured Stars, it's just, where is the... Uh... <laughs> Uh, almost the entire society went to investigate. Uh, they got trapped there, and the uh, almost three quarters of the uh, society never came back. Actually, it is more like four feet. Including my grandmother. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Oh, that is too bad. Your grandmother is dead. Uh. <gasps> Ghost Yon. Who 
will you continue to help us as members of the Starfinder Society? So Not if we're gonna die! What I am hearing oh, oh, yeah. is that there we are... We all help! Oh, ho, ho, ho. hold on now, hold on now. Let's not be too hasty here. What I have just heard is that the Starfinder Society has lost three quarters of its population, so therefore we are even more important than we thought we were just a week ago. And it seems to me that uh, I have no grandmother, so I do not see the benefit here. Perhaps there is a price that you are paying, some kind of reward, maybe, for the service? As members of the Starfinder... I can't even, I've lost, completely lost the voice on you, for just kidding. As members of the Starfinder Society, you are welcome to use any of our facilities. I will also arrange, while you are on Castrabel, for upgrades to your vessel. Some to your specifications, as best as I can provide them. I will provide you a small uh, satchel of credits with which to feed and clothe and um, house yourselves, but I cannot provide much more than that right Ghost perks up. Credits? Now you are talking my language. How uh, many credits are we talking about? I can only provide you each 200 to start. You know we were paid more to investigate the Drift Rock. And now yes. you are saying there is a great big death-destroying gun, and you can only afford 200? As I have stated, I am offering to also upgrade your, your newly found vessel, hmm. which is a very costly proposition. What do you think, Trigger? I, uh, I, I think um, 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 uh, 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 upgrading the vessel is, is, a, is a lot of credits, Ghost. That, that, that's, that, that could... We, and we don't have it because you guys all bought cool stuff. That is true. I did buy cool stuff. Me too. So we shall do this, Trigger? Couldn't hear Mike. Yes. What did he say? Being, being part of the Starfinder Society is probably... probably yes, the, we still probably, can't hear you. It, it's the best way for us to stay safe. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I don't I can hear I, I hear can Mike hear too. Mike fine. He said that he said yes, we should do it because the uh, the starship grades are worth a lot of value. That good, that good. I uh, Ty and Jeff. Yeah, what year is it, by the way? It's two years after the Scour Stars, two or three years. So it's three eighteen, three nineteen. So the Starfinder Society is right. still rebuilding. Very much so. Hence, your your value has increased dramatically. That you've proven yourself. Yeah, I mean, they let you and Ozzy in, so... Obviously, their standards have been lowered. That is true. They have very high I standards. I think I would be a fine addition to any society. Yeah, our resident idiot hasn't said anything lately, so... I'm making sure you're still there. You don't need to insult everybody, Jules. It's not that funny all the time. <laughs> I was insulting Ozzy. Yes, but it doesn't have to be all the time. You Will you... So you, you, so are you agreeing to help us then? So we yes, get, yes. It, you are giving us 200 credits, a ship upgrades, and a free gym membership. Yes, yes, you are allowed to use any of the facilities that the Starfinders has on any planet we have. Hmm. Let me ask you, when this membership ends, will you keep calling me and contacting me? Is it difficult to get out of the contract? I just want to make sure. You are members of the society. This is contract not... Contract Okay, so this is not like Scientology or the Fitness Edge. Okay, good. No, this is forever. Oh, very good then. All right, is, do you have any further questions? We will provide more information, but we believe Dr. Solistarni will be the one who can help you the most as he is... Um, familiar with this many of the ancient symbols we found in the information provided to us by, by Trigger. Yes, I have a question. Yes. Is your personal comms unit working, Chizkisk? Why, are you asking me to dinner? No, I am not. But can we just call Dr. Solestarni on the personal comms unit and have the conversation right now? Let's go. No, Dr. Solistani needs to has 
is not always available. Let us call him. Go ahead. He agreed to meet with you at their convenience on Castrovel. But uh, give me his number. G give me his contacts. You got the Insta. Give me his information. I will call him right now. We will get this resolved, and you can pay us the money, and we can get the new gym membership. Here is his information. Great. He punches it in. Tries to call Doctor Solastarni. There is no answer. Look, I got this. Hang on. He's got voicemail, right? He waits. For his voicemail is full. Uh, <laughs> yes, we will have to go to Castrovelva. No, Castrovelva is Doctor Who. You're going to Castrovelva. We are visiting the Creeper of Trakid, no? No? I hear he's yeah. a nice guy. No? No, he does have an awesome goatee, though. I think he's good. He is definitely good. I hear his daughter. Very nice. Sweet River Joy. All right, if you have nothing else, um, Chiskix transfers you each 200 credits for room, board, food, etc. They um, tell you that they've arranged to make sure that the um, lollipop is fully operational and been checked out for you. Are we getting the upgrades now? And the upgrades will be done on Castrovel while you're doing whatever you do there. You will have you will have to provide me a list of what you want, and I'll provide you what you get. Fair. Fair. I guess I guess we need to start looking those up. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I just put that. I've never had a ship before. <laughs> All right. Um, the goblins meet you at the ship. Are you guys going somewhere? Can we come? Please, please, please. Can we? Can we? We can be helpers. We can help. They're very helpful. They make good food. Remember, Ghost? Remember? Remember when you ate the food? These when I made you eat the food? And it was really good? I, I, I at least see. They're, they're coming. It's okay. Settle down. <laughs> if we don't have somebody to keep you occupied, one of us will kill you. I don't want to be killed. But you Trust me. Go. It's not one of us will kill you if we don't keep the little gremlin people with us. This is very dangerous. If you come with us, I want you to know you will probably die. And what? I, I will probably not be the one to kill you. It will be like a, uh, a nasty space creature or maybe a space pirate or maybe space. it will be space uh, disease, perhaps. Or a maybe, sp even, uh, maybe in the worst case scenario, it might be a space ball. Yes. Please. It is the opposite. There goes it the is the opposite of uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger character. Come with us if you want to die. <laughs> <laughs> so you goblins, I hope you are okay with that because one of you will definitely die and the other may die. Are you okay with that? Then come with us. He's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> so, you board your ship. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. Hey, do we need to provision? Josh, do we need to provision the ship first? You're all, it's, it's a day. It's a day journey to get there. So, well, not okay. really. She's going to provide. Has filled the pantry for you, the galley. Okay. I do want to ask. We're going to start tracking ammo from this point out. So. I have told you, you each have three fuel cells with 20 charges each. If you need physical active, if you need physical um, ammunition, projectiles, <laughs> thank you, Adam, you need to purchase those now. Like Jules has a needle gun and she has a. I need to buy darts. You need to buy darts, you need to buy petrol for yes, your fire I need pistol. To petrol for my fire Does anybody else need to buy any other ammunition like that? Uh, that auto target rifle I have, I think needs regular, I already have five magazines with it, 10 rounds each. It just has my, I still just have my laser, uh, azimuth pistol from, um, my original. Pew, pew. Dude, do you want to upgrade that before you go? I should have, but I didn't because, uh, you were farting around with all the um, online stuff, so. Uh, it's my fault. I got it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I can get explosive darts. 
Because I didn't start looking till four o'clock today. Yeah, so there. <laughs> There's a, a, a lens laser. I think it does 1d8 damage, range of 80. Does interesting things when it blows up stuff. You may want to get that, then at least you do twice as much damage as before. Make them fight something. Do you have any money left, Jeff? I have 200 uh, or 2,000 uh, credits left. I have 2,000. Let's see if you can buy some stuff. Oh. <laughs> Bob, where would that be? Armor. Uh, lens pistol costs 1,800 credits. Uh, it is a light, light weapon. Uh, 1d8 damage. 20 charges. Critical is burn. Uh, if you use it, it costs two charges instead of one. It's a bit on the expensive side. Still a eight pistol. Mm -hmm. My 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 azimuth artillery label. Yeah, that, that sounds like an awfully aggressive pistol for level three. It's a level four pistol. One, th but it costs one thousand eight hundred and fifty credits. It's the majority of the rest of his money. All right. Um, I'll let you, I will let you buy a level. Turn to level three. Does anybody need to buy physical projectiles? Like I know Jules needs to buy darts or. I just did. Okay. Uh, so I at least stocked up her. Did you buy your petrol too or just your darts? Um, bought darts. Uh -huh. We'll buy petrol. Anybody else? Yeah. Uh, nope. I, I have uh, I have five magazines, ten rounds each for my auto target rifle, which is an actual projectile rifle. And it's taller than you. Got it. And it is taller. Right. And it is taller than me. I have purchased control. Did we? Okay. Thank you. But fortunately, if anybody still has that azimuth artillery laser, just note that that also uses two charge batteries. Yes. That has not been sold yet. Uh, who's who's good with heavy weapons? Is it just you, Azzy? I, I think. I mean. Is there any? Is there anybody else proficient with heavy weapons aside from Ozzy or Soldier? <coughs> I am proficient with long arms. Uh, I can actually uh, at level three. I got a weapon specialization in long arms. Hmm. Oh, wow. That artillery pistol will be a minus four to use if you want to use it. So where? I, I I don't want to use the artillery one. I'm using that auto target rifle. I mean, it's a long arm, but it's not a heavy weapon. Gotcha. So, Ozzy, I think you're the only one who's who's uh, proficient with heavy weapons. Do you want it, or do you want to All sell right, no. it? No, I already have. You get it set up. Do you have extra? Can we, can we, can we, we carry sell it? Extra? Yeah. Why don't we sell him? Give him the credits he needs to get his armor. I agree. Any objection to that? All right, y'all. No, well, we can sell it and put it in the in the. There's. Oh. Yeah, because actually, we actually that, we have a whole list of stuff that we can sell. It it doesn't come out so much though. It's gonna come out. I know, well. but I mean, but we'll have to do that when we get. Yeah. Do we need to lug around like twelve extra, you know, things? Laser pistols. That's true. I'm sure put it in. You guys can fit. It. <laughs> I've got one in each pouch already. You can fit nine. Yeah, I've, got a, or no. I've, got a, I've got other interesting things in there as well. Uh, what about, uh, did any of you guys get healing? Mark 1 uh, serums? I have one. So, yeah, I, I actually, that, that was one of the few things I did buy. I didn't, um, I, I bought four, I bought four uh, extra. So I had four Mark 1s and I bought four more. So I have eight total. They cost, oh, they cost 50. Yeah, they're 50. I have one that we picked up somewhere. I said, Critical hits are good. The only thing, the only thing I actually had bought on the list so far was I bought some extra grenades. Even though the grenades haven't been that fun to use yet. Um, and some extra healing. Like the YouTube. We can move again when you get over there. All right. So, are we all set then? Uh, I'm also picking up an extra 20 rounds for the sniper rifle, Josh, and I'm picking okay. up a healing. Uh, Serum as well for fifty gold or for fifty credits. All right. Anybody else picking up healing serums? Me. I I, I picked up oh, four like... extra. I wish it was that easy for you. 
Yeah. Where's that good about Amy Heal and Sierra? <laughs> All right. So everybody's stocked and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yep. You board the lollipop until you provide me a better name. I like the lollipop. It's a good ship. <laughs> Takes off. Uh, you make it about two thirds of the way through. Everybody, give me a culture check. Soldiers have. Yeah, I know. I don't expect you to see that. Make this check. Henry, no. 26. What was that? 26? Yeah. Drink burger. Plus what? 25. 25? Uh, Mikey? Uh, culture? Uh, 19. Jeff? 16. Adam? <laughs> Why are you having yeah, I, I have Ooh. 10? So as you're all sitting around... You left in the yeah, afternoon as you're sitting around for breakfast the next morning. Ilesi has turned on one of the reality shows, and you realize that you're it's seeing us. stuff that happened last night on the ship. Uh, oh my god, what did the little devils do? Wait, is that from yesterday? Is that what we are seeing on television right now? You're witnessing last night? night's dinner. It's not quite, you know, yeah. what's going on now. You know, like the goggles? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> what, is, what is the uh, reality TV show program that's being displayed? Like, it's not uh, it's, it's, Real Housewives it's still, of Absalom? It's not Real Housewives? It's, no, it's, <laughs> it's still covering you. It's, it's actually a, a channel that's kind of dedicated to the uh, your, your guys and your exploration of the Acreon. And, and that's cool. We have our own station. Uh, can we tell from the uh, angle of the camera where the camera seems to be positioned? Like, is it uh, from the back, the front? I, I would think that uh, your, your mechanic could, could determine where it was taken from with an engineering check. Uh, Trigger, do you have any or idea where it was taken from? Uh, Henry, uh, Henry, no. Whoa, I at least got a 26. Engineering check. I got, a, I, got a 30, I got a 31 on my engineering check, Josh. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. <laughs> 12. 12. 25. That was pretty good. That's wow. as big as I could get. <laughs> Did you roll a natural 20 on that? Yes. <laughs> Jeff, Would you roll? You just good, wasted good time to use that. <laughs> it's gone. Between the three of you, you're able to figure out that. There are, is at least one microscopic camera placed, and that based on the technology of it, it was placed by by uh, Mr. Roboto slash Roboco Cell. That he wasn't done recording you yet, apparently. And they were trying to get more information, I guess, or whatever, broadcast more information or whatever. So is he still with us? He is not, but he has left at least this one camera uh behind. <clears throat> you guys talking uh, about me? Trigger. I don't know what you want to do about it. Trigger, can you? Uh, we're going to try to disable it. Uh, Trigger, Where is it? Like, can we find it and disable it? Uh, I mean, it's it's tiny. We're talking like D6 size. So you just smash it under your boot. No, no, uh, no. I'm gonna, do, do not smash I'm gonna it. Plug, I'm going to plug into the computer with my uh, exocortex and see if I can locate where. Uh, I, mean, you, I mean, you find it, it it's just broadcasting. Uh, Trigger, I have oh, a look like suggestion. It. I have a suggestion. See, I... Well, well, well let's, let's pretend like we don't know what it is. And we eject it out of the... Wait, uh, wait, do not... Wait, wait, before you eject, Trigger, can you detect the wavelength that it is broadcasting from? And then you can search for other frequencies to see if there are other broadcasts that are coming from the ship. Uh, sure. If, it, so, if they're all in the same frequency, so, Mikey. Yeah, I'm not hundred percent certain. Did you get the? Do you have? Do you not have the ability to wirelessly hack something? Did you get that at level three? Uh, I yes. Okay, this is a level zero computer. So if you give me a computer check, you can hack this without getting up. Okay. Computers. Trying to teach us our skills. 
I aid him with the computers. What, Jeff? I aid him. He, no, this is, this is purely him because he's trying to do it wirelessly on his. Can't be there to help him. The point is to do it stealthily. Um, thirty-two. So you are able to wirelessly hack into the camera. You have full control over it right now. It is as rudimentary as it gets. I mean, it is a camera, a small processing unit, and a small chip and a battery. And a little charging ability to charge yourself off of the ship. Okay. Um, I am going to... Um, do we have access to regular television? Uh beam to us yeah you have you have you have access to everything on the i forget what they call it the okay. no, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna re, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna actually instead of the camera recording us i'm just gonna reprogram it to just retransmit back uh whatever tv show is currently playing you're, you're missing a prime opportunity to send back and monitor the goblins but anyway <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I mean, I, I can I can play with it again later, but for now, this way... Sure. Know what we're doing? Sure. And your viewership drops to almost zero very quickly. I, the goblin bathroom scene? No, we don't, we don't want that. <laughs> I say we move it into the goblin's bedroom that we gave him. I think that is a violation of the FCC code of broadcasting. Oh that'll, te that'll teach them to put in un... Uh, that'll teach them to put a camera on our ship without our knowledge. Do you think there are any more trigger, more hidden away? None, that, none that I can find. None that I sensed. Why don't you give me a? Give me. I guess it's going to be another computers check or engineering check. Your choice. The DC is high. Anybody else can can assist or be involved. Uh, I'd like to assist. I'll assist. Okay. I'll assist. Assist computers wide. And I did a 15. Um, I got a 27 on computers. Oh my god, Jules rolls another 18. Yeah, my <laughs> computers is nice. Anybody else assisting? Uh, I successfully assisted. So whoever is doing okay. it gets a plus two. So plus, plus three to my roll? Plus six. Plus six? <laughs> and I got a 23 on engineering. So... 15, so 18, uh, to 30 on my computer's check. So 36. You find at least two others, um, one on the bridge and one in engineering. Uh, you have not, to my, I'm telling you right now, unless you tell me otherwise, they, they stay exactly as they are. Broadcasting right now, basically an empty bridge and an empty engineering galley, having breakfast. Uh, it is up to you what you do with them. I, do uh, not... I guess I'll, I'll let the crew decide what they want to do once that, once we found them. I do not want anyone knowing where we are going, because this is what assassins do. They find you and they try to kill you. And this has already happened to us at least two times. Therefore, I say we change the broadcast. I mean, we can just put them in, in benign areas of the ship so that, you know... Like, obviously, we don't want anything on the bridge or in engineering where major stuff can happen. <clears throat> I should know. Yeah, I think we should at least I also keep wonder, more. though, like, <clears throat> do we want to have this, like, like in the galley where we're eating? Like, who cares? Right? Because... Uh, you mean uh, we're going to be doing... Stationary? What, Jeff? Stationary and engineering in the bridge? They see... They, they... From what Mikey can tell, he has an, he, the one in the galley. I mean, you guys haven't actually examined it yet. You would only know it exists. Um, it's probably stationary. It doesn't seem to be changing the angle in which it views stuff. Maybe we can use it to our advantage. I think that we should keep at least one on the ship, just so that if anything happens, we have a way to like make it known to the public that things are going wrong and so that it can't just like if we go down in a fiery blaze and then you know they, they try to cover it up we can be like nah uh y'all saw what happened they are, they are, be dead then. Oh. they are tracking you you do not want assassins to know your locations these things often have 
geopolitical satellite uh, longitude latitude coordinates and the third dimension which escapes me at the moment they can tell where you are you do not want that they're so paranoid no fun that's all you want to do is kill things that's only because everyone is trying to kill me i'm not trying to kill you yes you are you just don't know it yet <laughs> I at least he walks over and gives you a big ah! Ah! Group hug! Get off of me! I got Ozzy! <laughs> Get off of me, you tall, lanky insect creature! Get away from me! <laughs> okay, I run over and I grab Trigger. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you doing? What are you doing with these? You disabling them for the moment, then? You, are you putting them out of loop for something else? Uh, or are you looping them out of the empty space? I, you know, I mean, like, I don't think having one on the there's not one on the bridge, right? There's one on the bridge, one in engineering, and one in the galley. Right now, the bridge is empty, so you could just put it on loop and loop like three minutes on the bridge, three minutes in engineering, and they can just watch your, you know, your 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 your, your, your space cargo. Do -do -do -do. I think it could be uh, advantageous to us. We we feed them useless I, stuff for now. I, I think I think I think that's a great idea. I think we should um, not not uh, disable them or anything. We should give them. We, we want to keep our fans right. We're like rock stars right now, <laughs> and uh, that could only benefit us down the road. I mean, Ghost, just think of the cool stuff that we got from Diamond. Yes, think of the cool stuff we got from the Akaton Casino trying to kill us with all the robots. Oh no, let's not think of that. Let us think of the ship full of people from the Academy who tried to kill us because they know where we were. Oh yes, there's lots of You're benefits. You're not the cameras. Ghost, Ghost, the, the Academy is not going to kill. Come on. Uh, the shower scene? No? Ghost, I'm only kidding. I know they're going to try to kill us. <laughs> the, yes. The shower scene is what? The sour cream? What are you saying? Shower scene? How you say? Shower scene. <laughs> I do not get this right. I think we put one in the in the goblins' quarters. I would totally watch that show. So I don't know why you guys seem like a big deal. Is it like the odd couple, but with goblins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that's why I think it'd be hysterical. All right, which one are you moving to the Goblin's Quarters? Uh, the one that's in uh, the bridge. All right, so you take the one on the bridge, you bring it to the to the engineering where they set up the refrigerator box that they live in. Can we suddenly move it like we're moving this box to there opposed to moving this camera to there? It's pretty clear you're moving the camera, but it's not. A, it, it is what it is. Oh, so you move God. the camera and you put it in the refrigerator box this that the goblins live in. I cannot spend time in this room. It smells like death. It is worse than the Oxian ambassador. What is in this room? <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, God. Ah. That's you. What are you doing in my houses? This is our space. Oh, you guys get you fancy can. quarters. We have this awesome box. You can have the box. Was... box. is so cool, guys. I love it. Oh, kill me now. I am leaving. This is horrible. <laughs> Oh, I want to kill him. Lisi, this makes the uh, Yosoki area smell good, no? Um, I don't think that ghost smells very good. <laughs> I smell like nothing. Uh, that is the last thing you smell, smell like before I kill you. You smell nothing no. and then you die. That is how it works. I am like cyanide. <laughs> All right, so you move the one camera, you leave the one in the gallery. Directed on the outside of the box of the goblins live in, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you eventually arrive at Castrovel. Uh, I'm going to change your camera here to show you where you are on Castrovel. Does the Hollow Suite work, Josh? Does it uh, does it function? The Hollow Suite does function. Oh, oh she doesn't like. Ghost is going to disappear in the Hollow Suite and... for like ten hours. <laughs> Come over here. Go there. All right, so here's actually a, a world map of Castrovel. 
Hence, by the name of the very giant name at the top. Can you remind us of um, like the planet of Castrovel and a little of its history, just uh, for those of us? That's the western side, right? So Castrovel is the home of both the um, Lashunta and elves. It is the second planet from the sun. It's mostly a jungle planet, where Absalon Station is the third planet, third space from the sun. The uh, you land in. Cabaret, which is right in the middle of the map. Let's see if I can. Yeah. Well, we were going to Ecolam. Well, Cabaret is the city in which you stop into. Oh, that's it's... where the university, Doctor Solastarman, is at. Okay. Uh, can you guys see my? Yep. I see. Sure can. So that's where you. That is where you. You set down. And you. Uh, <clears throat> you landed not at Docking Bay ninety. <laughs> Bay 39. Talking about 37. Prime number. Good number. <laughs> and as you're disembarking, um, the intent had been to introduce, his Chris, introduce Chris's character here. So uh, Chris is playing Sivian, a um, Sharon mystic. He'll be there as your, he, she, they will be there as your guide when Chris makes his technology work. But also there, is a uh, female, um, what kind of just lost the word? What, what, what race are you? Lashanta. A female Lashanta, what is she? Demaya. Demaya, Demaya a, a female uh, Lashanta Demaya. And she is dressed in flowing, um, I don't want to say robes, more like a, uh, a, a bunch of scarves. <laughs> and they're bright and they're very happy. And she comes running up to Ayalisi and says, Ayalisi, I have missed you so much. And she's throwing herself at Ayalisi, giving giant hugs. And I have at it. <laughs> are these your friends? Who are all these people? Yeah, well, some of them are my friends. Some of them want to kill me. I'm um, like, that one over there, his name is Ghost, which I think is a really weird name. So thank you for not giving me a weird name like Ghost. Um, ghost! And she runs over against Ghost. And she... Oh, no, no, don't do that. He likes to kill people. Oh, no, we can kill people who gives hugs like this. Oh, he wa he doesn't like hugs. He wants to kill people that give hugs. No. Yeah. If Are you, you going to introduce me? If you touch me, I will kill you. Oh, oh, this is my mom. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Great. Okay, so mom, so that's Trigger. He and Ghost are like best friends. Um, he doesn't like hugs either. Um, and then the big slab of meat, that's Ozzy. She gives over gives Ozzy a giant hug. Oh the big lip. Yeah, that's Ozzy. I've been hungry on this before. You're enormous. <laughs> he doesn't like me either. Um and then <laughs> <laughs> And that's Nala. She's she, pretty okay. She goes over and very respectfully greets Nala in the traditional shut <laughs> away. I, I, I can always stay for a little while, but I wanted to, to take you and your friends out to lunch and oh, ice lunch. cream. <gasps> ice cream. Wait, wait, there is, there is ice cream. lunch and iced cream. Oh, your mother is not so bad. Free food. Okay, I'm in. I am in. Where are we going? <laughs> There's this little place around the corner <laughs> that I that I scoped out and I tried. I might have had ice cream already. Mom, it's called. It's it's it's. it's I can't believe you had ice cream without me. Sorry, it's good. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm mad at you. Do you want me to go in to rob it? How many do we need? I will. I will steal what, uh, <laughs> ten, eleven. What are you stealing? We're gonna have lunch, and I'm gonna get to know all of you. Because if you're gonna take care of my little girl, I need to know. And, and if I heard about your, I, I got a new lead on your dad. Oh, oh! And then, so she leads you off. She just starts marching off in a, in, in a random direction, different from what you expect her to walk in. You know, you expect her to, where she was pointing earlier was to the right. <laughs> she takes you to the left. <laughs> she follows you down a few streets. She turns some corners. She's scratching her head like she has no idea where she is. This place! And you know she's completely making it up. But she takes you in, and she sits you down, and 
It's not a bad looking establishment. They have food. There's no ice cream. <laughs> uh, Josh, I do a sense motive. Is this an act or this is really how her mother is? <laughs> roll the dice. Okay. Uh, I, got a, I got a bad roll. I rolled a natural four. I got a 10. <laughs> Bob, as far as you can tell, she she's off her rocker entirely. Ghost is completely perplexed by her. She's so outside the norm of everything he's ever seen. He has no idea what to make of her. So, uh, you are related to Elise? I am. You gotta come sit next to me. We're gonna talk about my little. And she she puts her arm around you and makes sure you sit down. The ghost sits down right next to her, and she brings Ozzy along to the other side. And she said, I have never seen somebody so big. Well, you You're know, gonna see, if, I want to see how much ice cream you can eat. If you watch the reality t TV shows, strangers have put three cameras in the bedroom of your daughter, and they are watching her take showers all the time. So you must be very excited about this. There's no showers. I watched this. You guys were fantastic. It is just, uh, you watched it? Of course I did. Did you like it? It was fantastic. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was when the giant lizard guy used his 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 his, his whippy thing. Ooh, that was alright. <laughs> Ghost shakes his head and excuses himself. They're, they're, they look very they sound very nice. They were very nice. And they she, made us very good dinner one she, time. She looks at Ozzy. She goes, Mister 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 Ozzy. You may call me Ozzy. Ozzy Ozzy Mandy. It's gonna take a minute. Okay, Ozzy. And I have a very important favor to ask of you. <clears throat> this is my only little girl. And you are the biggest, toughest person I've ever seen or met. Can you can you take good care of her and keep her safe? I have killed men I've killed for her in the past and I will kill for she gives oh, that's you, so sweet. She gives you a giant... <laughs> <laughs> but I think you should know that uh, we are going... Oh, uh, Ozzy also butts out his... In, 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 a, in a stunning display, Ozzy, uh, the, Ozzy pulls his hand back and busts out his tack lash out of the uh, the quick-release holster. <laughs> wow, so fast. Uh, that, <laughs> this is very touching, but I think that you should know that uh, your daughter is probably going to die in the next ten days. Whatever adventure we have next, you know, she is very frail. So just to manage your expectations. She, she, she looks at, uh, at the ghost and says, I know you're the pessimist. I have watched you. <laughs> you're not going to die yet. Yeah. Hmm. And she, he she, orders, she orders you a whole bunch of um, traditional Castrovellian food, which clearly Nala... And I at least love the Ahsoki may tolerate it. I don't know if or not. It's up to you guys what you do with it. I look forward to hearing what your choices are. What is what is this right here? I have not eaten it's like fruits and veggies in a, in a light sauce or with dipping things. And mm, This is delicious. Goodness. This is pretty good. Hey, any... Trigger, try the purple one. The purple one is good. Mm, that is good. <laughs> He takes some and he starts putting it in his cheek pouches for later. In fact, he's like piling them into his cheek pouches. Hey, this is not bad. I think he's mm. not eat it. <laughs> it's like half and half. Um, you guys over here, um, I at least see his mom talking to her about her father and that her mother thinks she has another lead on the finding her father. And you can tell that I at least see is a little doubting. Um, you know, it's clear her mother's a little unstable, and that there's some sort of obsession about finding the. But there's definitely something about one of the islands within the sun, or the the spheres within the sun, a specific one, and mm -hmm. it just kind of goes on, and to the point you're almost uncomfortable. So she's definitely on the crazy side, but there's definitely something she's interested in finding, or helping, or whatever. Apple hasn't fallen far from the tree in this case. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> lunch, lunch concludes, and uh, 
uh, Tiny he says, "I I know you have a lot of things to do here, so I'm gonna st- I'm, I'm gonna go back to, to to my home, and you guys take good care of my little girl because she's all I have left. And and if if you need something, you call me. I have lots of connections. And that's true. She's she has a lot of friends. People really like her. And." If anybody wants to do a, I guess so, a, a, a culture check, you could you could look up her name and see if she has any actual inform you know anything about her that might be interesting. Oh, so so a bullshit check. You're welcome to look up. You you're welcome to research if you want to do that. I feel like she's Mel Brooks in the history of the world. I was kind of trying to go for an owner writer in Stranger Things. I'm just not quite getting there. No, you're not. Okay, I got you. Is anybody making a culture check or no? Twenty-four. Culture check. I have. Okay, I, was doing I, I have no stuff. culture, but I can roll. Twenty-six for culture. Well, I, I literally have no culture. I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, did you roll at all? No, I don't have culture training. You can't even roll on it? I just thought you didn't get bonuses on it. I thought you could No. It's got the... Okay. It does. Jeff, what'd you find? What'd you roll? 26. So Nala puts it in, and as I least he's saying goodbye to her, her mom, it's like her mother uh, was wedded to the father, who's now MIA. They are both stewards. They have a, a long history of very successful missions. Um, the stewards were the, are the Jedis, the peacekeepers. It's kind of disturbing to see that she's broken for all of you. I am not so disturbed. Except to Ghost, the rest of you <laughs> <laughs> are kind of disturbed that she comes off as so disjointed and, and, and broken. So, uh, with her departure, and she provided you some information, um, which you may or may not believe is true about. Um, uh, Abravan, your father, and it's up to you what you want to do with that. We'll cover that off off topic. Mm-hmm. Um, Chris's character, Sivian, uh, arra- has arranged for a meeting at the um, taking to the university of um, what's the name of this? Kabarat. Chris, the University of to meet with Dr. <laughs> Once again, the Kasathan, who is an expert in ancient Yucalam, where those symbols were originally found. The uh, He takes you to the university. It's about a 10 or 12 uh, buildings on the north side of the city. Beautiful campus. Nothing huge, but a very, very nice, respectful um, area. And he takes you in, and he brings you up to the uh, third floor where uh, Dr. Solostarni's office is. And as you approach, give me a perception check. Oh, mama. Jules rolled a one. 19, 24. 13. Maggie? Well, wait, what? Perception check. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 1d20 plus zero, Adam. <laughs> Makes he's facing the wrong way. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice. nice, Adam. That's a 20. Uh, that's a 19. 16. Sorry, Josh, 16. Is that, is, that, is that with your bonus? Yes. Jeff, what was yours? I was 25. Ooh. All right. And Bobby, what was yours? 13. 24. Sorry, 24. Oh, 13. Bob, okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, Ghost and Nala recognize that as a. And it looks like there's damage to the outside of it. Say one more time what I recognize it as you cut out just as oh, you, uh, as you're approaching the door you can see that it's slightly ad- there's some um, some scrapes on the door and the jam like somebody had forced it open the door okay. the door is a jar is a jar I'm gonna use the washroom for a second while you guys discuss how you're gonna approach them. we approach the room with Adam going first I don't know what the yeah. <laughs> Very, very carefully, cautiously, I have my brace on. I'm being. Uh, 
I agree. I think that's our game plan. <laughs> that was the easiest. I think he expected us to have more of a discussion. I know. I think he did. <laughs> All right, thank you for humoring me. Um, Ozzy cautiously approaches the door. And carefully. And carefully. Your brace? You have a knee brace now? <laughs> okay, I missed something, sorry. Um, you want to give me a perception check? <coughs> uh, as you approach the door, does anybody want to look, want to listen, see if there's anybody in there? That, that, in this case. Detect magic. I look listening to you. I roll a natural 20. Okay, there's... Plus no. a per uh, perception of 25. Anybody else? Doesn't matter. I think that's fine. <laughs> I'm putting this one away now. Jules rolled another one. You might want to save that die for later because it owes you now. No, it already did the good stuff earlier. That's not how it works. <laughs> wow, Bob, Bob's skill checks are low today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought at first that Bob was stuck, was just looking at his phone. It, his picture has been stuck at him holding his his phone like this for like the past hour for me. <laughs> uh, so. I've lost I've lost video on all of you guys, so that would make sense. I lost, I lost video on you. So as you uh, approach the door. As he, as his soldier senses take over, he's listening. He's he's moving as slowly and cautiously as he can. To everybody else, it's like I didn't know Ozzy could move that quietly. <laughs> and you get to the door, put your ear to the crack that's just opening. You don't hear anything. Hey, Bob's video reset. Um, you don't hear anything inside of any any kind of movement or anything. Are you going to open the door? It is clearly it was broken into. Let us go in right now. There's nothing in there. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> you first. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Oz Ozzy pushes the door open. Uh, it's a it's a mo it looks like it was a modern um, organized office, uh, a desk, computer, uh, a desk, a computer uh, table, uh, a couple files. Another table that was used for examining ancient artifacts, um, an ancient set of Kasathan armor in the corner. Um, the computer is on, but signed out. The, the room itself is in disarray. A chair is turned over. The suit of armor that was hanging on a, on a stand, half hanging on, half hanging off, like somebody was trying to put it on in a rush. The there's a file cabinet that's open and, and, and torn and, and pushed over. Uh, that kind of uh, disarray. Uh, Doctor Solestarni, uh, are you are you enjoying a five day binge right now? Doctor Solestarni, are you are you here? Have you had a an interaction with a bunch of ninjas? Doctor Solestarni, <laughs> ninjas would have, wouldn't have left like that a mess. Maybe she is very messy. We do not know. <laughs> no, they were pie samurais. Uh, we, we searched the room. Is there any sign of any living or dead people in the room? Perception checks all around. Twelve. Jeez, Bob. Yeah. Twelve. Is that was your bonus? Twenty-three. We, we have Adam with a two, Bob with a twelve, Jules with a twelve or thirteen. Twelve. Jeff, what'd you get? Special 18, so 23. 23. Mm, good. Well, one of us can see. 17. 17. Uh, there, is, there is no body. Uh, there is certainly damage to the room. <clears throat> the computers at this rate, like somebody tried to, or maybe somebody tried to sign out before somebody got in. It is at a login screen. The desk is a mess. The drawers have all been pulled out. Uh, there looks like there might have been something on the on the examination table with the light and projector uh, and uh, camera over it. That's a mess. Uh, the glass on top of that is broken. It's clear there was a struggle of, of some type in here. Um, there is a small blood stain in one spot of the corner and one spot by the door. Uh, 
People, I do not think Dr. Solestarni is here. That's why, maybe that's why he didn't answer your call, Bob. So I think then, uh, who wants more ice cream? Let's go. There's nothing we can do here, clearly. Uh, I guess we are done here. Uh, the mission is over. Good night, everybody. Uh, there's blood on the floor. A, a small bit. Small bit. Uh, she I is a bit like paper cut or like stab wound, but I ran away. Uh, we'll call it a or like a three inch circle. That is not <laughs> so that is not enough blood to kill somebody. I should know. I kill many people. Yeah, you didn't need to tell us that part. We already knew that. Many, many people. Many people. Uh, if anyone wants to give me a life check, they might be able to tell what kind of blood it is. Ooh. 27. 25. For life science? Uh, Any, life science is a 9. Anybody else? For, for life science? Yes. I don't have any life. Uh, I, can, I can give that. I, I'm changing that. Adam, you give me a list of the three skills you're training. Thirteen. Nineteen. Well, there, there's a list that tells you what you can and can't roll if you have a... Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, DC 20, so uh, I at least he's able to figure it out based on the color and the texture. Oh, I touched it. And the scent. Ew. Well, our blood is a very coppery taste. I know. This has, you know, this has the... Um, she, she's able to confirm that it is blood so it's more than likely dr solastarni's blood did you say oh. kasatha blood solastarni is a kasatha yeah kasatha oh, okay oh uh is this a uh did you say we're on a university campus you're on a university campus third floor of the uh the building the building i don't i don't know the exact name of the building is she like um is she staff do we know like what her job is? Does she work for the university? He's a professor there. He's oh, a professor of ancient uh, history for and his specialty is Castrobel. Okay. How do they have ancient history if the whole universe is only 300 years old? This is pre-gap information. I thought we didn't have any pre-gap information. This is what the researching group. That's what he's- Yes, Eucalam is, as I sent you the information earlier that you could provide. I did read it. Dr. Cole, sorry, spends a lot of time you. That, that was very difficult. <laughs> well, I read it twice. <laughs> Do you want to give me give us some information? Okay, so there are four main continents. No, just, on just, you, just. Doctor Doctor Solstani spends a lot of okay. time. So Eucalam is like mostly uninhabited. Like it's just like rainforest. Um, but there, like there, there's really not a lot there. Um, but there are these ancient tales of old societies. Um, there, but there's never really anything. Yeah, there are lots of ruins. Hmm. Um, and at least one expedition into the continent's wilds interior claimed to have discovered a complex culture dedicated to the stars. Hmm. So, based based on what Chiskix had said and what information that uh, Ilesi has provided, that may be related to the um information you found on the drift rock there may be a tie there well, that's what they were trying to get you to look into uh trigger do you think you can hack the computer to see if there is more information uh we we can try i can try to connect and, and see if i can hack into it can you see if dr solis darney has a bank account maybe some extra credits that she does not need ghost what what she is dead she does not need the credits She's, you don't know for sure she's dead. No, but we can hope. No? No! <laughs> 20, 27 on my computer's check, Josh. All right, so you were able to hack into the uh, system. You, uh, you use the uh, the infosphere to look up Dr. Solastarni's uh, birthday, year, double the first number, have the second number, third number is the same, gets you right in. And you're able to see that uh, Dr. Solstarni has, has definitely spent much of his lifetime uh, researching Eucalam and what they have found there. The um, there is a great deal of ruins. 
that he has he has visited there several times. He's there soon again. Doesn't look like he's going to. He um okay. he has some images that to you specifically you found on the drift rock that you recorded for some of the images. Yeah, you know, as like far as like language. As far as language or such. Does my comprehend languages cover that? The ancient it, it's symbols, it's not really language at okay. this point that we're seeing. And you find a whole you, you are able to get into well. Could you say where that, you could you say that last sentence again, Josh? It kind of broke. Uh, he's, able, he's able to get into the emails. Oh, okay. See that uh, Dr. Solstani has spent a great deal of time uh, as of late um, emailing a, a gentleman named Ira Paqual. People still use email? Paqual um, for, uh, regarding an expedition and, uh, to, to Eucalam. And this, this gentleman is trying to hire the doctor as a, um, a guide. And there's actually a uh, a note from two days ago uh, ask, asking for a meeting at a, a local bar. To okay, which let's Professor, go to the bar. To which Professor Solstani agreed. Hmm. Uh, what is the, the last uh, date of login on the computer, or when was the last email sent? Can we can we determine when the inactivity began? Was it about two days ago? Two days earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, can we activate Find My Phone on the on the computer to see where it's going? <laughs> find my comm unit? Yeah, find my personal comm unit. What you, oh your your message to them? No, we're making a joke. Well, oh, actually sorry. actually I'm not I'm not joking. I mean if we have Find My Phone now in twenty twenty, then by twenty forty seven or twenty four seventy four there's definitely going to be find my phone. So let's use the computer to find her comm unit. Uh, privacy laws prohibit that use right now. Uh, the laws uh, mean nothing to me. So let us find her. <laughs> he, it, look, it looks like he had agreed to uh, Paqual at the Five Arches, which is a restaurant in a slightly seedy part of town. It's M -M McDonald's. Oh, so we're, we're not able to identify where their comm unit is right now? No. Okay. Even with a good computer check. Were they maybe conveniently going to meet it around where we are right now? <laughs> it's it's not that far, but it's not that close. It's it's you know, you're on the northern side of the city, it's probably the western side of the city. What's the timing? Like has the meeting happened? Is it in a meeting happened days? like two days ago? Perhaps we should go to the five arches and ask if anybody has seen Dr. Sol. I suppose so. Crazy. I think that is crazy. Look, I push this button here. It says find my phone. It does nothing. Look at that. Isn't that strange? That's very strange. Okay. But look, if I log in as me and I find my phone, look, ding, ding. Look, it shows my phone right here. That is so strange. Oh. It shows no battery. Ah, okay. Well, I don't know about you, but I could use a drink. Let us go to the bar. Uh, Josh, is there any, are there any valuable items in the room? Credits, uh, jewelry, time pieces? Is that happening? Bless you. Is there anything that Ghost would want to steal? It's basically the... Not a lot. I mean, it, it's a basic office, I think. Uh, I think of the offices at work. There's a couple of pictures that you assume as Dr. Soul starting with relatives. Uh, there's some shattered ancient artifacts that whoever attempted to abduct them destroyed. Oh, that's awesome. The armor in the corner is Kasatha, so you really don't have four hours to make it work. Hmm. Uh, the computer is a basic computer. It's a university issue. Good. I steal the hmm. stapler. Excuse me. Um, give me one more perception check. All of us. Anybody wants to. Oh. Natural two. I have a ten. Those roll natural Eight. twenty. <laughs> Anybody else? I, I Everybody. No point. <laughs> All right. 
the best I can. I, I definitely can't beat anybody. All right. All right. You you see kind of stashed behind the cabinet that fell over a a diary or portfolio, some images and drawings in it. Do you want it? In? Yes. All right. So you recognize this as being from Halk Halkarim Zan. And everybody give me a is history a skill? No. Culture a skill? Give me a culture check on on Zan. Twelve. Twelve. Anybody have beaten twelve? I I don't got culture, so I rolled a two. Two to Jules. Yeah, I rolled a net too. I rolled a twelve. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me a computer check so you could just look up the name. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh my god! You gotta, gotta shake it. Again. Tw- Twenty-five on my computer. Seventeen. Okay, so you, you look up Halfleem Zahn, and it, a couple hundred years ago, he had gone to Yuka, come back, and he had all these out, out wild and outrageous stories. He he was kind of a Indiana Jones failure from what you're reading, but there are some notes within there that may provide help in Yucalam that may also be complete garbage. You don't know, but these are digitized copies of his notebook. Hmm. Okay, well, we should take it with us because I'm pretty sure we're going to Yucalam. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> All right. You should just throw that away. That will be completely useless. I do not see why you are keeping that. Place it on fire. <laughs> All right. Uh, per Ozzy's suggestion, you head over to the five. Uh, you look it up online. You find out where it is. Five arches is. is Go ahead. What was that? Sure. <laughs> the five arches is readily apparent from the tree, thanks to the glaring neon signs suggestive of the numerous portals. In the district, a riot of different world souvenirs plasters the interior's walls, and each table, booth, and bench bears the name of one of the packed world's planets, habitable moons. I do want to um, make a comment here. You are all familiar with the fact that Castrovel has some ancient magic that has portals all over the place to connect all over the place. You don't necessarily need to fly somewhere or drive somewhere distant. You can take a portal from Cabaret to Kendera's on the east side of that map and be there in moments. It's just a matter of booking time on the portal. Do the portal. So that, is the portal, ma- the portal? that is a magical connection that nobody understands how it works. They just make you do it. Wow. Uh, question. Do uh, do the portals all go to other places within Castrovel? Do they go elsewhere? They, on, on the city. On the planet, I mean. They do not leave the planet. So have they all been mapped out? Like, uh, are there any portals that just people have walked into and they've never returned? It's more like a Stargate where you went to the code you want to go. That's pretty cool. Huh. I like that. That's really interesting. It's not, it's not like a flu powder where you can mispronounce something and stupidest end up in the wrong system. building. Um, the wrong chimney. Stupidest. Jules so, <laughs> might have a pet peeve about it, but I'm poking. I'm, I'm noticing that she is. Yeah, she feels very strongly about this. Jules will spend a lot of time rewatching the Harry Potter movies because they've been on like three different channels and has been finding a lot of things that make zero sense. In the mo- yeah. Even the books have a lot of weak plots when you reread them. But anyway, you head over to the Five Arches. You're outside. It is a gaudy looking place you know neon signs there's five arches that go over it they're not golden it's not the mcdonald's of the future <laughs> it's uh, a series of uh, it actually it's like the rainbow coalesce through it it's, it, you know what i'm saying it's like it starts at red at the very bottom and then there's red and orange and then it's red orange yellow and then red orange yellow cycles did you forget red. the next color no i was not i was just not going to tell you the boring part of it Ghost looks very disappointed. He slumps his shoulders. He looks down at his feet. <sighs> that is too bad. <sighs> why, is, why is it too bad, Ghost? I, I'm waiting for one of us to ask him. I wanted chicken nuggets. There are no chicken nuggets here. 
<laughs> I could kill no. for some chicken nuggets. Let me don't kill me. He looks around. Okay. I don't have the chicken nuggets. I want chicken nuggets too. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was really come up with some creature quickly. Are you going in? Uh, all right, case the joint. Is there a back exit? Only a front exit? What do we have in terms of exits? It's kind of in the middle of a block, so there is no. If we all go, right, let's go. We go around the back. There's no back alley leading to the back of the uh, establishment. Uh, not, not an easy way that you can find to get to there. And can we see a roof access at all? Uh, it, it's a multi story building. It's a multi story. Okay. Uh, fire escape or anything like that? No, like you're only you're really only seeing block for lack of a better term. Okay. So getting around the back, there, there's not a lot to see. There's, there's probably a back alley, but it's kind of a, a maze to get back there. Okay. Let's go in. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So you you head in. There's a, the, the typical garish, awful um, Castrovellan music that is popular among the young teens now. There's a, a group of, uh, several groups throughout. One group of note uh, sitting in the back corner. Definitely looks like some, uh, what's the I'm looking for? Nefarious, op- nefarious people. They don't really have any, uh, any positive to add. They're not adding to the joint, but they are consuming. They look a little too comfortable for your for your liking. Uh, hopefully, they're at a restaurant. I provided the wrong. I just changed the map body, didn't I? I showed too much. No. Shoot. Uh, we're still, still, we're still looking at the map of Castrovel. Really interesting. I must have lost connectivity somehow. Oh, I see it now. Never mind. I changed it back. Okay. Now, now we can see something. Yeah, I changed it back because it, it, it shows too much to start. I revealed it. So you're inside, there's a bar, there's tables. I guess there's several groups. One group definitely looks like they're all, like too comfortable. They spend a lot of time there, but they're also, for lack of a better term, I'm thinking like, you know, Italians in a mafia hotel, in a mafia restaurant. Just hey, too comfortable. Hey, I like this place. Your mother should have shown us this place for breakfast. This is a nice place. So... Uh, there no, is... she likes to go where the ice cream is. Mm. There was the ice cream where you ended up. I know she thought there was ice cream there, and it's the it's the thought that counts. <laughs> I am thinking about getting you more ice cream, and then killing you. <laughs> He's so nice. Uh, so, like I said, there's a bar, and then stealing uh... your ice cream from your cold, dead hands. <laughs> <laughs> nice look. How dare you? I could never do anything like that to you. I would bury you with your ice cream. That is That'd very sad. Bad. That makes me very sad. Listen. listen. What, you don't want to be buried with ice cream? Hey, listen, let me teach you an important lesson here. Because you are learning the wrong things from the rest of the crew, okay? You get into a fight with somebody and they have ice cream and you do not. You, keep you get the ice cream. You get the ice cream. That is the point. You get the other person's ice cream. That is life. Taking the ice cream from other people. That is life. I have given you a nugget of wisdom. <laughs> nuggets? nuggets? I thought we said there weren't any nuggets. No, no nuggets here. Let us go see what we have. There. They have tenders. Chickens. <laughs> are there are there chickens on Castroville? <laughs> Uh, there's there are now something similar, hmm. but like I said, there's a bar, there's stools at the bar, there's a couple couple unoccupied tables, um, several sets of occupied tables. One clearly a group of college kids, one a group that looks a little too comfortable for being there, and one that's uh, it is around lunchtime. So guys having lunch together. Ghost goes and sits down at one of the unoccupied tables. All right. I'm going to go talk to the college kids to see if they go to the university that we were at and if they have the doctor guy as one of their professors and like. All right. Do you have a diplomacy check or a bluff check, whatever you want to call? Um, 
think I might win. Ozzy, what are you up to? Uh, I got a 12 on diplomacy. Nala? Uh, following uh, Elise with a just kind of um, uh, observing the college. All right. Trigger? I'm just hanging out. Are you sitting with Ghost at the table? Yep. Okay, so you and Ghost find a table. I at least he goes over and starts. Um, I'm very friendly. Yeah. And now a reality TV star. They're going to. They actually do recognize you. <laughs> uh, Nala, do you want to give me a. You had me do diplomacy. Diplomacy check? <coughs> or actually, a bluff check is also. An... Bluff that? <laughs> 17. 17. So be- between the two of you, the- it's actually a couple of of teenage boys. You have them eating out of your hands. Um, they don't have... Them. What, Adam? Nothing. <laughs> you have them eating out of your hands in a matter of minutes. They have absolutely nothing of value to say. Dude! Watch this! And he chugs whatever drink and trying to show off. Clearly immature, clearly childish. Probably a sophomore too young to drink in the in the bar. Um, just awful. <laughs> Probably there because they'll serve underage there <laughs> without carding. So they don't have a lot to provide you for information. Hang on. Uh, Josh, you mentioned there are some uh, more comfortable looking guys who look like they are connected. Uh, can I do a perception check and see if I notice any weapons on them? Maybe in the pocket of a belt or tucked into pants or something like that? Sure. Okay. Perception is a 16. You ask stuff like that to make a DC in my head on the spot. I say DC 17. Ah, that's a shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you can definitely tell they're sitting a little uneasy. No, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say uneasy. They're sitting awkwardly. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. That's uh, that's a clue. Thank you. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Hey, Trigger. Those four are carrying. Yeah. Uh, what? Those four. Those four over there, they are carrying. Yeah? Yes. The waiter saunters over. Um, not quite scantily clad, but clad tightly enough to... Definitely we looking to earn some extra tips from males. Um, have Ilysi and Nala and Ozzy joined the Rat Pack? What can I get for you boys and girls? Do you Don't have do you have chicken fingers, chicken nuggets? Do you have nuggets? You have bread and chicken. We we have we have human fingers. Oh that works. Yeah, that's good. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Here's our drink menu. Here's our specials. I at least see and now I see several drinks that are um, specific to the uh, Castrovel world. You know, take spices or or plant products that are only grown and found there. So it's certainly a, a delicacy for you, having not been home for a while. I at least see now maybe never even been there. The rest of you are like, I'll take the raw meal and ale. I don't know. What do you want? Nala, what is Pink. good here? What, what should we get here? What is good? Oh, you should, you should stay with the local... Uh, uh, Fair. How you say? Booze? <laughs> <laughs> I will have whatever she is having. <laughs> they booze again. I like the way you said that. He's drinking the booze. Hold on. How uh, you say booze? <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy, are you having human fingers? Ground lizard burger? He is a lizard. I know. Some plant based food? <coughs> Up and Adam. Ozzy? 
Oh, is Ozymandias. Is, is he still with us? Did he fall asleep? Sorry, I'm here. No, I'm here. Uh, yeah, hum human fingers and uh, whatever the local. All right. So the, the waitress saunters off. Um, you have a few minutes to to, to look around. Some there's a uh, you've 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 garnered the attention of the of the college boys pointing over there. They're making eyes. One of them actually sends a drink over to uh, to Nala, and, and the second one sends one over to Ilisi. It's his wingman. He's got to take care of. Them. Whatever. Um, two more people. I turn, I turn to Alicia and say, uh, our wingmen, they uh, eliminate everybody that we don't like? Is that how it goes? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. You understand now. Yes. Very good wingmen. I, I, I'm more of a front. <laughs> but at lead, any rate. You're a lead man, huh? Uh, lead me. Thank you. I was trying. All right. Um, the group in the back, the uh, businessmen finish and leave. The college guys order another round. And the, um, the guys who seem somewhat comfortable and uncomfortable at the same time. You could just say mafia. Continue, the mafia guys <laughs> um, continue to, to slowly sip what they have and just kind of hanging out. Looking mafia. One gets up and walks away for a while. Comes back. Hey, uh, quick question. Do Lashunta, do you guys have the ability to, like, I know you have telepathy. Can you read minds? Can you, like, read people's minds? I sort of can with a spell. Um, hold on, let me find the directions. They, they are Lashunta's, the ones in the corner that are called the Mafia Boys. Oh, if they're Lashantas, it might be harder to do this thing. Um, so the way it works is you have to cast it. Um, but it's a cantrip, so I don't really know what the point of that is. What's it called? Oh, I guess if it's taken place during, if it's during battle. Oh, sense. I see. So, we're just going to cast it three times. What is, can you give me some information, please? What's the name of the spell? It kind of broke up on me. Detect thoughts. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> you can read the surface thoughts of any mind in the area. A target who succeeds at its will save prevents you from reading its thoughts, and you must cast the spell again to have another chance. So, uh, right. to understand how this works... Surface thoughts, if they're sitting drinking their beer, they might not be thinking about uh, the doctor, Solvestron. Yeah, thoughts. no, it's, it's just surface thoughts, so it's not going to be like... Are you going to try it anyway? But wait, wait, wait. If you had somebody go over and ask, have you seen this person, and they see a picture, then I imagine their surface thoughts will think about the time that they killed Dr. Solvestroni, and then you cast your spell after somebody has shown the picture. You know what I mean? Then you might have better... Yes, So what are you guys doing? We'll send Ozzy over there because he's the... Ozzy, do you have Intimidate as a skill? If he doesn't, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to go over there? Was that you? I'm, I'm happy to let you roleplay something. <laughs> are you going to do this? Well, if you think I stand the best bet, I don't know why they need intimidating, though. They... <laughs> Go on, lizard man. Go walk over there. Here, here. I'm sending you a picture. I took of the picture of the doctor. You show them the picture. Well, we, we have it when we looked at his. From when we looked at his. Yeah. Yeah, you can look it up online hmm. on the Infosphere. And you know if you, so, uh, if you piece them off, then you will probably survive. Maybe. But they are they are He's weapons. Not likely to survive. Ghost? Or yes. uh, rather trigger? Uh huh. If they attack me. Okay. <laughs> Oz Ozymandias, can I, I ask you a question? I can't. <laughs> um, uh, if they attack you, can I have your human fingers? 
<laughs> no, I will need something to eat. No, uh, if you if they attack you and you die, can I have your human fingers? Don't let. Can I have the castrovel fries? They're really good. I walk over there, <laughs> I, just to get away from these two. And the uh, there are the four guys, and the one of them, yeah, you know, the, the, the four of them are joking around a little bit. One of them, can I help you? Uh, you gentlemen look like you often. I'm looking for somebody who was here for a meeting two days ago, Doctor Castrovel. Doctor Sol <laughs> Doctor Solastarni. Solastarni, yes, that's it, Doctor Solastarni. <laughs> Who is on Castrovel, which is where we... <laughs> Are you casting your spell now, Jules? Yes! Wait a, wait All a right. minute. That's like, uh, I just want to point out, that'd be like if Adam was in an Earth bar and he came, he went in and approached a mafia guy, I'm looking for Dr. Earth. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Sorry, please continue. Oh, Dr. Earth, is he here? <laughs> so I rolled a three for my will save. I don't know what it does. I haven't even done anything yet. Oh, Jules said she's got <laughs> Just my presence? Is that intimidating? Oh, for Jules. You showed the picture, so maybe now if they've run into her, it's at the top of their thoughts. What do you have to do? Okay, so I failed my will save. You're, you're yeah, looking for service. Star. Are you talking the one who's the one who's doing the or one of the other one of the other three? Is the one that looks the most suspicious? <laughs> no, they're all pretty Guido. Hey. <laughs> I'll go for the guy that's talking then. Okay, so <clears throat> out of his head is the thought of I like the cut of her jib as the waitress walks. And coming into the thought as Ozzy is Oh crap, what does this guy want? But what if, like, what about as he's talking about... Um, what is this guy? Oh, crap. This guy knows something. What's that? Okay. Are you peeing again? Yes, because now I broke the seal. Very next question. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming, Jules, at some point your father explained to you what breaking the seal means. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> You know, we could just beat the crap out of them. We do not need to no. we do all this. Yeah, we need the information. Let's, let's call that. How about plan double Z? What is plan Jules. double Z? Jules, I assume your dad has told you about how small his bladder is compared to mine. <laughs> Wait, let me guess. Go set kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, just, he said beat them up. For Bob and Mikey, when I had my uh, my hernia, my first hernia, no, my hernia surgery or my Achilles surgery, I can't remember which one, I was laid up. And so Sherry had to empty my... Really, we're going to go on this road? It's recording yeah, for the internet. Because I had to stop because the leader jug was filled. <laughs> he would dump it, come back. I hit 1.4 liters. <laughs> oh my god. That's like three quarters of a giant bottle of Coke. Wow. Oh man. God. <laughs> Where is that in my body? Like 1.4 liters. <laughs> oh, wow. D d was that surprising to I you? Or uh, was that like. I've been known to have a big bladder. That is <laughs> that was bigger than I assumed it was. That is very Sorry, impressive. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, just a side note on that, too. Uh, a weird fact, you've probably read this. Mammals across the board take an average of 21 seconds to urinate, regardless of how large or small they are. <laughs> I love those kind of uh, stats. It's weird. All right, so the... Nala learns that information. She's able to telepathically communicate with everybody because the Lashanta can do that. Yeah. Mm. So she, I assume, are you, are you telling people what you, you heard? Everybody but Ghost. 
<laughs> the DM has a small bladder? Is that what I'm <laughs> Why did that thought go in my head? I do not understand. Yeah, that's what I'm telling Ghost. Is <laughs> yeah, okay, so what do you I have a small bladder? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling Ghost. The Mafia, I'm telling Ghost, Ozzy has a small bladder. And oh, I'm telling everybody else. That this guy is like, oh crap! They know something. Something's up. Makes sense. I'm. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. that's right. Ozzy is not. So, you, how long does that spell last? Um, one minute per level. So you have three minutes. So I have Ozzie, three minutes. A chat. That's really useful. Uh, Ozzy, you're welcome. Back. Any yeah. more information? They still haven't answered my question. <laughs> Which one? They never actually answered. Have you seen this guy? Have you seen <laughs> The hell are we doing with the Kasaka? What the hell are we, will we be doing with a, with a forearm freak like that? Mike, answer my question was, have you seen him? He was supposed to... Ain't seen nobody like that. Perhaps you should actually look at the picture a little more. <laughs> Are you gonna slam his face on the table? <laughs> uh, that's what I bet. You know, like, oh, while you're away, we said Plan B. Oh. He, no, that's Plan Double Z. Yeah. Uh, he he looks he 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 takes it a little closer, holds it up. Nah, ain't seen no wooden like this. Hands it back to you. Sense motive, Josh. I rolled a twenty-two. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's. It's clear to you that he's probably not telling the truth. And what is? Uh, it's clear to me, and I have not told. No, it? that's the, that's clear to Adam. It's not clear to Ozzy. <laughs> what is I see you picking up from surface thoughts on the answer to the, yeah. that question? Um, is it just more like panic? There, there, there's definitely some panic in there. There is a question. It's. It's more like it's not like this guy did something like he did something for somebody that like just hired me that, that involved Dr. Soul starting. As Mafia typically are. It was it's not like he killed them. But you can't tell exactly what's going on. What are you rolling for, Adam? Sense so you, you can definitely tell that he's on point. It's clear that he it's it's probably pretty clear that he's lying to you. He doesn't know how to react. He's a little intimidated, certainly. Um, so I telepathically tell Ozzy, I say, tell him where with Starfinders and that he needs to tell us the truth. Could Jules or I pick up on his the background thoughts of lying, deception? You know, you know what I mean? Like, well, Jules, Jules so Jules is doing that with her tech thoughts spell. She, she's talking to somebody else about it, but could no. Her... I have a spell that allows me to read thoughts, so I'm set, I'm getting the actual words that he's thinking, and then I'm using the Lashanta ability to communicate that to you guys. Yeah. So he's got he's got he's got a little bit of panic, and I at least yeah. Tell the big lizard. Yeah. Tell the big lizard to intimidate him now. He's scared. Tell Ozzy, so I'm telling Ozzy, say, tell them that we are with the Starfinder Society. <laughs> Completely forgot ghost, okay. And that, and that they need to, we're here on official business and they need to tell us the truth, everything that they know. Nice. Look, my friend, I count four of you and one of me. So the odds are not. Adam had a And my four. If I had a baby to give you, I'd give it to you now. That's great, Adam. That's really good. Perhaps you should save yourself from some face and just tell me what I want to know. That All right, it's going to be a roll. I oppose that, right? I don't remember. Just one of those regular old. Right. All right, so I rolled a 13. He's got probably a plus two. So be the DC fifteen for your intimidate roll. Handsomely. Mm. So that's a twenty-four. For some reason, he's listening and not watching the screen. So no, yes, yeah. He is uh, clearly intimidated. He starts stuttering a lot. 
And uh, what was your exact question? Just like I responded perfectly. Have you? What- I did, 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 maybe at a little some point somewhere maybe around here. I I no may, no I don't think maybe no I don't think so. Punch him. <laughs> <laughs> we are with the Starfinder Society, and you will tell us everything. No. <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> that's, 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 that's not helping him. Peeing the pants is the part where he's getting a little nervous here. Look, my friend. Clearly, we're having a little bit of. Did you see this person in here two days ago? And who... are you providing any physical demonstration of your physical prowess? His hug. I'm sa- wasn't sure if you were going to carve your initial table <laughs> with my with my yes with your claw. <laughs> uh, before arms from his shoulders. <laughs> Let me please listen, friend. Uh, in his interest to uh, not agitate him. I assume you, that means you walked over the Nala. I'm trying to uh, intimidate. I got an 11. You're trying to intimidate the guy? Did you walk over there then? Is that what you're saying? Okay. And you're, it's a natural 11? I plus 9. I got an 11. Oh. <laughs> Why you means they're all the two. You broke up. <laughs> okay. uh, and I at least you get the thought. <laughs> As uh, as you walk over there and talk to him, the thoughts I at least hear is hearing from his mind are not appropriate for PG. <laughs> so obviously he's not intimidated. He is definitely um, <clears throat> finding Nala. Don't forget he's Lashanta as well. He finds Nala attractive. Now at the same time, he's definitely scared of Ozzy. And he's, uh, he, he turns out, he says, g- g- give me a few minutes to talk to my buddies. We'll see if we can figure uh, Also, just know, this is our, um, this is Nala. She's a friend of mine. If you touch her, I'll. Oh. Did you want to make another intimidate check with that one? I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job. You did. Are, do you give them some space then, or do you stand there? No, no, I, I stand there. I'm not going to get left. <laughs> That's what I tell them is, oh, good, there's room here for all your friends. Bring them here. Uh, everybody give me a perception. Nala. Everybody give me a perception check quick. Six. Fourteen. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Holy crap, I did... Bob, mm-hmm. where'd you get Mikey? Eight. Adam, you're on fire. You've been rolling some excellent. Oh, so, so the, oh, Jeff, what'd you get? Thirteen. Thirteen. Wow. Um, so none of you notice. One of them is keying something in at a. None of you notice that, but I'm telling you anyway because I'm a jerk. Hey guys, I am not seeing, <laughs> but he is doing. <laughs> Hey, so the, that's because Bob rolled a natural. I rolled a natural three. <laughs> so the uh, the guy like, can you give us some room here to talk? I gotta talk to my buddy, see if they know anything. Maybe the, maybe the bartender knows something. Uh, you can talk just fine with us. I just, just. Oh man! Look, buddy, you're not going. Henry is snoring at me right now, guys. He's snoring. Yes. <laughs> All right. The uh... I'm not the first person snoring tonight. No, you're not. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff does better at home. It's ten o'clock. He's still- <laughs> <laughs> 
by now. Seriously. And he doesn't even have to worry. I know. Uh-huh. Then sleep from 5 to 6.30, just for the record. <laughs> from 9 to 6.30? 9 to 6.30. Well, All right. Uh, the guy you've been talking to, Ozzy? The Lashanta rule is he can daze anybody. You're a level three character. I assume that he can, he can daze any of a CR three or lower. You are a level three character, which I believe makes you a CR three. I agree. Well, let's say yes. Is there any save or is it? it, it, it there is a save. Um, Jules, can you look it up first? I think it's only like it's it's low. It's like a it's twelve. Really low. I have it. You can look at the big books over there. Uh, it's, a, it's, also, it's also... It's a will check. What is it, Jules? It doesn't say. I'm going to say 10 plus half his level of 2, so you have to be the DC 11 will save. All uh, right. According to this, will negates. Yeah. And if, yeah. if there's nothing listed, I might imagine it's just 10. Like Actually, it says DC 11 on my sheet now that I'm rereading it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's like I'm right. Mm-hmm. Nice work. Quick. Did Adam save? Yeah. I- oh man. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I wouldn't. <laughs> you looking for some? Although, you know what? There's how many of them there are there? They they get There's tries. four. They just uh, but are they gonna are they gonna? I guess they're each gonna take a turn. So you got to make three more. They can also communicate telepathically. Yeah. That is a good. Hey okay, po- guys, we're gonna. That, that is- so, go ahead. Make me three more. Oh, oh make two. I don't, tie is it? Tie, tie. It's DC 11. DC 11. Dude, come on. Fail something for me here. <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, that's amazing. That is fantastic. These guys have better run. Gentlemen, I am getting imp- <laughs> <laughs> The uh, four of them shove the table at you and, and and race for the back door. You are easily able to get an attack of opportunity on one of them. Okay. I will use... <laughs> I will use my... Um, what's it called? Stand still. Uh, it's a melee attack. KAC plus eight. This KAC is 13. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have to hit a five. No, no, plus eight. So a twenty. So I'm waiting for your roll here. I know, I'm waiting, uh, making sure that I have my my numbers correct here. I think my attack. Twenty two. <laughs> You- so uh, yeah, I I hit him for uh, for some damage. Oh no, wait. I don't know if I hit. I don't know. I don't think I do damage. I think I just stop his. So so. I'm uh, gonna go to the term paralyze. <laughs> I've got a better. So uh, as they run away, um, uh, Ozymandias breaks out his uh, whips. His, you know, pull, th- pulls his arm back and tosses it forward using his quick release sheath and his whip and. Wraps one of the one of them uh, around the feet, and he. Tra- mm. Nice. He loses two teeth. Ooh. Oh. Actually, that was a natural twenty. He shouldn't have lost anything, but it was not to say. <laughs> he hits his face plants, loses two teeth. The other three funnel out the back door into an alleyway. Uh, he is down for the count, and I think it's time to roll some initiative. I'm going to change the screen here. Uh, even though you can't see it, you you shouldn't see everything, but I'll let you see it anyway because which screen do I want? This one. All right, and you captured that guy. Come back here. Okay. What the heck? Lovely, you're on. Oh, but so you got the guys in the wrong mode. Uh, our avatars aren't on the screen. Maybe that's why. No, I'm trying to move the the bad guys, and I don't. I can't for some mm-hmm. reason. 
All right. Uh, I'll come back to them in a second. So, Ailisi, there. It's really weird to see you playing him by yourself. Trigger a different square. We've only met. Ozzy, you are that. Nali, you are a little closer since you were recently pulled away. Initiative. Yes, you're going to roll initiative in a minute. I just rolled. Uh, who am I missing here? Ghost. It's right here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now why can I not touch the. Why can't I move these guys around? Two. Oh, there we are. This is the guy you just face planted. Hmm. Oh, do you want to give him a, uh, these guys special colors and assign a face plant icon? I do. <laughs> mm. Oh. He's, you, you obviously, you shouldn't be able to see, but I really don't have to do this otherwise. Orange, you have face planted, purple. The other three run out the door, in the back door. Um, so let me see what you see. I see this. Okay, perfect. So I scroll down a little bit, scroll down a little blue. bit. Scroll down a little bit. You guys are still inside the structure. Oh, you, why don't you see you? Are they all in the wrong... All the way. Oh, I hate when that happens. All right, now you guys should be on a token layer. Open. Is there a real short view? Yeah, we're down there. Yep. All right. And I'm going to add everybody. Uh, add turn. Off. Turn order to clear. Move all turns clear. E clear. Is that? W A. Yeah, turn. I wish I could understand why you don't have name. Give me your nits. I rolled a one for my guys. So they're. Jeff rolled a twenty. It's in the chat. In it, or is it? A, I rolled a six. <coughs> awesome. I rolled a yeah. seventeen. Josh, you're supposed to roll in a d twenty. <laughs> I did. I rolled a one. <laughs> and then a six. And they got plus. They got plus plus five. Oh. I rolled a sixteen. Okay. I got seventeen. Seventeen for me. Mikey, what'd you roll? Sixteen. You guys can all put these in, you know. Uh, I tried. Oh. We, uh, we're not able to right now. I can't. Was it? I cannot. I got 17. Really? You can't? I don't know why. You all have control. Ozzy, what'd you get? Uh, Seven. I Nala, what'd it. you get? 20? 20. 20. And Bob, what'd, what'd Ghost get? It says 11, but it should be 13. It's not taking into account his operative plus 2. So 13. <laughs> All right. Why does it say eleven point oh four? That's for that tie way you... tiebreakers. The plus yeah. four is my bonus to dex. So if we both got an eleven, then we compare our dex bonuses. So that just helps make it easier. Uh -huh. Okay, so Ozzy has, has tripped the person up. Nala, you are next to act. The other three managed to get out as part of the surprise. We'll call it the surprise round. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You said I'm uh, first. You, you, your name is the top with the next. There are no names. It's highlighted right now. How many feet per square, Josh? More than five, five. The standard five. Okay, thanks. Cool. Jules, I'm the person in that incredibly small circle. What? On my incredibly small screen. <laughs> I got none words. So they are incredibly small. You are this person. I don't what? know if you can highlight on it. Yeah. I move like the the screen I, just because everybody's in the. You can zoom in, you know. Yeah. Or zoom out. I had to zoom out. I can't. Like there's still nine people on top of the screen. Uh, you're, you are closer to the bottom, very bottom. 
then above him is Trigger and Ilesi, and just a Ilesi. Ozzy, yes, that one. Josh, you could try to use the click trigger to move his. Oh, okay. Here, I will move you. That's you. Did that move you? I'm going to then. Uh, where's my. This person I'm going to call uh, immobilized. Appropriate term, appropriate condition here. I'm looking. You might be stunned. Although I guess immobilize would be more better because I do have his feet. More better. Sorry. <laughs> more betterer. Certainly prone. Actually, I have to say, if you look at the picture for prone, the face plant, clearly that's about where you are. Disagreement? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, prone. You are lying on the ground. You take a penalty to melee attack. Roll. You get a plus four bonus to your armor class against ranged attacks, but you take a minus four penalty to your armor class against melee attacks. Standing up is a move action. That is actually probably the best one. I should say, technically, if we're going according to my, to the skill that I used, it only immobilizes them. It doesn't actually knock them prone. Mm. But if you want to do it... I will give you that. Or, yeah, because it's not pinned. I think pinned would be the next step. So I'm going to give you a prom. I think I'm going to delay just because my powers that be they help later, I, think, I believe. Uh, Adam, how many guys did you just knock prone or just I mean, we only need Couldn't hear any of that. Sorry. You, 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 Adam said you only need one. Um, Ilesi. Um, I'm gonna say Ilesi gets the note from her mind that this is this is the guy who doesn't know anything. Of course. The one that got knocked. The, the guy, the guy, the last guy out of the booth. You got. He's clearly the one who doesn't have much to say. Fantastic. We can kill him. You can kill him. I had to trip up the one who had his tongue cut out. I communicate to the group, the one that Ozzy knocked out, we can kill it. And then... Excellent. Excellent. All right, so... Uh, Whose turn is it? Now it's up still. Or are you waiting? Why, because I don't know what to... <laughs> doesn't seem like there's any... Oh boy. And let who's up next? Uh, Ozzy or Ilesi are next. There's a tie there. You guys figure out who's going next. You okay with letting Ozzy go next? Sure. Ozzy, you're up next. Okay. Uh Is it a free action to untangle? Sure. Thank you. Then I'm gonna do a little, you know, the way, wiggle your arm thing and just go. Yeah. Let's see, one, two, three, four. If I move to the lower right. Okay. So one, two, three, four. There. Uh, I can move. Yeah, I can move up one more because I can go. Di I can go left one up and diagonal right. up. up. But moving moving out of this guy's range, is that a, a, I, I don't I don't know if he gets opportunity attacks. I'll leave that side. Does he have a melee? He does have a melee weapon. He gets minus four penalty for your attacks to that. Uh, you you take a minus four penalty to melee attack roll, so he gets a minus four attack against you. Are you willing to risk that? All right. <laughs> His melee tactical baton comes out. No, better yet, his inferno knife. Sometimes. Well, my question though is, is it like was he walking around with it in his hand because he has to draw it, which would be a quick, uh, uh, not a minor, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. My seventeen is not going to hit. 
My 17 minus 4 mm-hmm. is not going to hit. You I don't are. even know why 17 plus 4 would hit. <laughs> But don't forget, you also don't you have any pluses to. Hit? That was with the pluses to hit. Mm-hmm. I rolled oh. eleven. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I look at this inferno, and I think you are up. Me? No, uh, Adam. Adam moves, so he has to add. add. I'm going to try a trip on him. I just I don't know what the math is off the top of my head, and I didn't think. To- you gotta. They're not. They're not trying to run away. They looks like they're, they're gearing up for, for fight. Oh, okay. Well, then in that case, I will do uh, fight defensively. Okay. What does that mean? Against per, uh, orange. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, a minus four penalty to attacks, but again a plus two bonus to my AC. Okay. So it'll be a. This is a KAC, correct? Correct. Okay, what was your roll? That is a hit. Hmm. Your tack lash wraps around his neck, dealing. Hang on. I'm doing the damage. Oh, you're doing damage. It is getting cold in here. To my sweatshirt off too. Ow! This was it. That, that, that's thirteen damage on a D four. <laughs> he is completely blasted in the blue. He is on his last leg. You, you basically, you, 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 you know, you 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 envision that you whip the tap, give it a big swift yank. And his next staff, and you can hear the crack, and he looks at you like, oh. But he's still standing. I at least he. I shoot him with my azimuth laser pistol. You gotta shoot him or the guy on the ground? Um. The guy on the ground has a uh, 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 bonus because he's prone. So... Okay, you... then I'll shoot him. Is, I'm sorry. Is what I would say if we were if we were. You have to move here because he's getting cover from Adam and he's getting cover from the corner. Um. If he if if I at least he moves here. I... Actually, is it that maybe? I think that would rule out the corner cover, but he's still going to get cover from Adam, so he's still getting. Then um, that's fine. I'll shoot somebody. Else. I'll shoot the purple guy. Per- okay. The guy who's in the cover from Adam gets plus two to his AC. The guy who's on the ground gets plus four because he's on the ground. Oh, then I'm going to uh, shoot some. Shoot the orange guy? I thought, okay, sure. Cool. Run on top of him and just shoot him with the guy who's laying on the ground. Come I'm going to use my jump jets. Inside? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll put you well, back How in. high are the ceilings? 12 feet. You can jump 10 feet high. Yeah. How far does it let you go? I can go up to 30 feet. One, two, three, four, five, six puts you there. That's your maximum you can go. That's fine. I'm going to shoot him now. Okay. Oh. I at least he... No, no, no. Give us the visual of I at least he's jump jets because we have... Oh, okay. So... She, she's bending her knees. She's, she's ready to go. She jumps and she goes... And it's a lot higher than you thought it was going to be. Are you peeing again? <laughs> is that what she's, now we know why you wanted the description. Is, is that what Ilyse is saying right now? That's, that's something. It's about 1.4 liters. So I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> she pees herself while she jumps. <laughs> she's so excited she pees a little. Yep. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Definitely not 1.4 liters. Um, I feel bad for the people that are listening to. So, do you but... know, you know what you're gonna do? Everybody got their game plan. Yeah, kill kill them. Guys, isn't I'm... that what we? Do? It's a good plan. Twenty two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Twenty two seconds. Oh, you're above, you're above average. <laughs> I broke the seal. I drank like four cups of water. and four smooth work ended. 
Next How time, old are two? Next time you, you roll Henry, it. you could time it as well. Oh, for, four. for damage? Yeah. I'm you just gonna have to roll the hit. You have kind of roll the, hit, roll the hit first, yes. A natural one. I don't think I hit it. No, I don't think so either. I think I need to. But up until you missed him, you looked. Yeah. Like, you totally the the dice. She was not greatest American hero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, because she stopped. Yes. Uh, trigger, you're up. Uh, so is the guy with the purple dot already hurt or dead? The guy with the purple dot is prone and uninjured. Okay. And... So if you shoot him, it's minus four. If you try to stab him, it is plus four. Hmm. Oh, I'd like to jump... i like to run over and stab him in the head. All right. Move, can you move yourself or not? Uh, hold on. Let me try. No. Why can't you guys move yourselves? Here? Yeah, that that's good. Alright, give me your melee roll attack roll. Okay, hold on. You got a plus four to that? I, I'm old now, so I have to put on my glasses so I can read what I wrote. <laughs> yep. Alright. <laughs> Jules is now changing her dice, by the way. <laughs> uh I roll a natural twenty. Alright. So give, give me nice. your double damage. What'd you hit with your survival knife? My survival knife. Which is a... I'm looking it up. <laughs> <coughs> uh, it's a 1d4 plus 1. All right. So give me 2d4 plus 2. Uh, nine points of damage. Nine points of damage to purple. All right. He is still breathing. God, Ghost, you're up. So, uh, Ghost still has Jet Dash, which allows him to run six times his base speed. And when he runs, he no longer gets flat footed. Uh, as a level three perk for an operative, your base speed increases by 10 feet. So, his base speed is 40 feet times six is 240 feet. So, Josh, if you can run him to block the exit for the guy all the way in the back. That's where he's going to go. You know, over here? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. All right, so you do get an opportunity attack from the guy in orange. Is there a way to run without the opportunity attack? Like an acrobatics check? Like, Is that a wall or is that a counter that he can just kind of... I guess that, uh, the, guy, the guy in purple already made his opportunity. He's not available, able to do one, so I guess you could make a diagonal in there and get around there somehow. Perfect. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. All right, so you are there. And that's a run, so run is a double... Is run double move? I think run is double move, I think. So that might be it for me. So that is it for you. All right. Can I jump back in and do uh, flanking to the one that I think Mikey attacked? So you, you have to go there. One, three. You can make that move and flank him. Yep, and you can make you can attack. You have to attack with your survival. I I'll attack him with my survival knife. That's a great idea. You can't help him. You can't hit. Just uh, twenty-two. That is a hit. And I do a whopping. Hang on, uh, one damage. <laughs> one d four plus one. D4 minus one when your strength sucks ass. Wow. So. Ouch. <laughs> Owie. Yep. That's about what he says. <laughs> oh, well, two, which was decent damage. Minus one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, they get to go. The one closest to Ghost. In the top left there. Mm -hmm. He draws. He takes out his Inferno Knife. And makes his attack. Ooh, he might actually hit you. Uh, 24, Mikey? I mean, uh, Bob? Oh, yeah. That's, that's a definite hit. All right. So that is... Yeah, that would hit. <laughs> uh, 1d4. So that's 1 plus 2 is 3 damage. Ah. Yeah, I know. He's so vicious. Uh, back here, the one who has covered the uh, is going to target uh, Ghost with his 
Azimuth laser pistol? Oh, wait. Uh, by the way, I want to just mention that when the blade strikes into a ghost, uh, you notice for just the barest of moments, like a brown shimmer that surrounds like the outline of his body. And it seems like the knife doesn't quite go down as hard as it should have. So he takes two damage, and the force field reduces its power from ten to nine. All right. Uh, Greed opts to shoot a ghost as well. He shoots some garbage cans instead. Woohoo! Orange attacks Ozzy with his um, Inferno knife. Ooh, a natural 17. Might have a shot here. Yeah, I think that. Uh, 23. And you are going to take four damage. And the one on the ground is going to take the minus four penalty and take a swipe at uh, Trigger. And his natural 10 is going to be ineffective. Uh, Ghost, how's that new armor? You know, I thought for a moment that uh, there was a mosquito bite on my shoulder. I wasn't sure, though. Uh, it's very nice. It's very supple. It's it's pretty good. I at least see it's supposed to keep you from getting hit at all. Oh, I at least see and Ozzy, give me a perception check. I like that one. Yeah. Twenty-one. I at least see you see two, uh, two men, two beings. Exit that vehicle that's parked on the, the to the right, and draw long swords. Oh, oh, this is a. Oh, that's the street. I thought that was oh, inside outside? of the bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Did pretty you sure now we outside. This is an alley. I thought that was clear. Sorry. <laughs> no, I no. You know when we zoom in well enough to see, like the whole map. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. It didn't affect the tactics at all. It's just it just was an interesting. Yeah. These these guys are clearly different. They have spiked armor. Uh, where these these other guys are kind of thuggish. These guys are definitely um, a different different caliber. Are they helmets? No. Nope. Uh, yellow, and I got to roll their initiative. You can zoom way in on the tokens in this stuff. Oh, God, six? Really? I suck. Six plus two. Wow. Eight. Boy, you're right. And there's really good quality. Oh, like, it doesn't lose its resolution, like the map. <laughs> the map is because, you know, I got to get back to drawing them. I, I just... Oh, yeah, they are really good. Oh, uh, Josh, I would say don't waste your time. It's a great map. N not to worry. It works It works for what we need. It's yeah, not yeah. what I wanted. So. It's about, you know, uh, yeah. I don't think we would have gotten a whole lot more out of it if you had drawn. Yeah, yeah, I know. But it, I waste, you know, I waste more time looking for draw maps. Sometimes. <laughs> That's I'm sure Bob felt the same way. It, yeah, there was a lot of time spent, but I would prefer to do that than drawing a map. <laughs> All right, um, we are back at the top of the war. Oh, Nala is up. I think we'll try to finish off that guy that's uh, directly in front of him. Yep. I get advantage or anything like that. You get plus four to your melee attack. Oh, wait, uh, this, they're flanking. He's flanking. Gets plus six to his melee attack. Oh, the thirteen. So that's nineteen. That's a hit. That is a hit. Ooh. I get a D4 minus one. You can't kill him. Three damage. Yeah, you heard me. Wow. <laughs> nice. Wow. That, that is impressive. He, he is in dire straits. It looks like he's trying to surrender to you. I at least you're up. Wait, the purple one is surrendering? The purple purple one is throwing up his hand. He's the useless one, right? He's the guy who's prone on everything. Yeah, he's the one. That he's the one who. Yeah. Okay. Then I don't care. Um. But the orange one is on. You 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 could tell me right now if you want to. Um. Do non-lethal damage to all of these guys. So you can try to 
and interrogate somebody later on? I would okay. like to not kill so at least one of them. Okay. Like, set your face. There you go. <laughs> Have you learned nothing? Nothing. You take their ice cream. Kill them. Finish him. <laughs> Finish him, Nala. Finish. Uh, I. 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 You see. Finish him. Um. I'm gonna. Is, does the green guy have any damage? You want to focus fire. Take guys off the battlefield. This said I don't want to kill them. It is, if you use them to zero hit points, you say it's not lethal. They will be unconscious, unable to operate, but they will not die. Only your melee. Jules can shoot the leg. I will allow it in range or melee. Okay, then I'll shoot, the leg. Leg. shoot the leg. I mean, Jules. You shoot the orange guy. Shoot the orange guy. Non lethal. Sweep the leg. I rolled an eight. Plus. Base attack bonus? Ten. Do you get anything extra on a race attack? But your base attack bonus? <laughs> that, that's what you get for a techno answer. Yeah. If you want an automatic hit, use magic missile. <laughs> but she probably has a dex bonus. <laughs> Why kill it? A 10 is a miss. I don't know if she has a dex right. bonus as well. What was that? No, that's her that's her basic that's her bonus. Her base attack bonus. My dex low. bonus, my dex modifier is just plus. So yeah. make that, so that's plus three instead of plus two. Oh, yeah. Well, thirteen. Is that enough? Ooh, thirteen might be a hit. Against these guys. Uh yes, uh, EAC is actually a twelve. Hit? Woo. Orange guy goes down, you don't even need to roll damage. Oh yeah, because either way. Because Ozzy definitely broke the guy's neck. In the process, so I'm just gonna move him to the GM layer. He's, he should disappear from you guys. Oh, field, right? Gone. We, 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 we know. I could use some help over here. All right, I at least see what Ozzy. It is up to you. There are two more fierce-looking foes entering. Ah, never mind. Okay. Uh, Ozzy, Ozzy's gonna yell to Ghost. Uh, Ghost, we have trouble in the uh, back, what, what and he's gonna mean? move. Up. I am taking care of the trouble right Up here. Up one. So my dad. New combatants. Yep, right there. And uh, which one should I attack? I'll attack purple. And I'm going to do a total uh, fight defensively again. Actually, yes. I will do a disarming attack. Hmm. He has a defiant longsword. Defiant. Pardon me while I look up disarming. I think it's another KAC plus. What did you do the question? Do you have the problem? Yeah, but you don't want them at 1030. It's a, it's a KAC plus eight. I'm looking at it right now. So you roll Okay, and I also defense. have my 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 Taclash has the disarm uh, oh. ability. I think it gives plus two to your roll. So you get a plus two. Okay, so it's roll. effectively a KAC plus Exactly. KSC plus six for you. All right. That's a tough roll. Isn't that all? Uh, I don't think that's going to... 18 versus their KAC plus six. <clears throat> your, your attack lash whips around his blade and he manages to hold on to this. <clears throat> and he holds on to it. That would have been cool. I know why I missed. Why is that? Because I, I forgot to do it. Because hmm. you forgot to do what? His whip sound. Oh, forgot thank to you. do. Noise. For me, so. his uh, his sound keeps cutting out. I don't know if anybody else has that uh, issue. No, I'm not. But the whip isn't very loud. No, it's not. All right, go strong. Trigger's uh, up. Sorry. Oh, oh trigger? Uh, Trigger's up first. The guy in purple in front of you. The guy in purple in front of you on the ground is hurt, but he's not down. He's not dead. Um, I am going to kill him. He doesn't know anything anyway. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to change the the guy you guys put unconscious there. I'm going to change his uh, information. Go ahead, Mikey. While I do this. Okay. 
13? Is it hit? <clears throat> You're hitting with your survival knife? Huh? You're hitting with your survival knife? Yeah. Yep. Uh, three? It's basically a coup de grace, however you want to kill him. If you want to dictate it, go ahead. Oh. I, uh... uh so I'm just... Uh, I, I'm, on top, I'm on top of him, and uh, I put the survival knife uh, to the back of his neck, and I... Drop down with uh, my hammer, my hammer of a hand, which is really just a rat's paw, and uh, <laughs> down through his spine, severing his spine, cutting off his airway, and killing him. Instantly. So you put all sixty pounds of your weight behind it. Yes, I had to basically jump up and down on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a ranged guy, man. This is crazy. Like I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Ghost drop. <laughs> Uh, oh, they man the eight. They have friends. What do you mean, like pet gerbils? What are you playing with hamsters over there? Uh, you get no response other than the. the sound. Uh, he's doing Don't a. You. Oh, this is a challenge. I was going to do trick attack using the macro, but since I can't select my token, I can't use my macros. So, Can I use it? Uh, I, you'd have to use my macro. I want to. I don't think you have access to my macros. That's okay. I think I got this. Why? So one. Why can't you do? I don't understand. All right. So I'm rolling for trick attack. Sure. I got a twenty-six. Uh, stealth. That's it. So the way I think oh. that works is it's um, twenty is the base, and anything over that is the CR. So if the CR is six or less, I succeeded on the. Uh, oh, you succeeded. Okay. And then it's the uh, tactical. Or survival knife, and not a full attack, but yes, a trick attack. So for he gets stabbed. I rolled a natural one, but the trick attack damage is one d eight, so that saved me. So the grand total is nine points of stabbing damage. Against blue. Against the, the guy I'm next to. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah the, his he's covered a little bit. Oh, okay. I can fix that. He he's hurt, but he is not uh, out of the fight. Okay. Oliver wants to turn two. He wants to go next in the order. Is that better? Yes, it is. Thank you. All right. Um, Ghost went, so now the guys in the, with the swords show up. Purple. Yeah, purple is definitely that I'm going to remove the map from your perspective. He's gone. I, le I left the orange so you can note later. Oh, uh, this guy advances. Josh, my apologies. This guy. I rolled a 12. Yes. Uh, KAC. So I don't know if that actually hits. Oh, wait. A it, 12 K. But he's flat footed. So he gets a minus two to his armor class. I don't know if. I just want to make sure. Okay. So it's KAC is 13. So you're, you hit the 11. Then. Perfect. All right. Never mind. Then he still takes the nine. All right. Um, Adam. Oh, that's a, uh, that's not a wall. It's just hard to tell what what's wall and what's not. Yeah, I, 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 I understand what you mean. Um, but no, I can see stuff like actually, it's fine. I think you're in the middle, you're in the middle of the road, Adam, and then those are sidewalks north and south of you. Right now, I believe. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I will admit I misread that the first time too. So I, if it would have changed where you went, what you did? No, because I wanted to be able to threaten both of them anyway. I think now that both well, threaten you. <laughs> Yeah, I'll look it up later, but I think I may actually get an opportunity attack when they leave, like when they're two squares away and they move to one square. I think I may get to attack them then, but I'm not 100%. All right, so the one north of you draw, takes a mighty sweep at you. Uh, 16 plus 7 is 23. All right, and that is... Ooh, max damage, 12. Oof. That's a hit. The guy to the south of you with flanking. Um, 11 plus 2 is 13, plus 7 is 20. Uh, ah, that's a hit. That is six, another 10 damage. That's a... He's your tank. He's uh, Yeah. 
So you see a little spray of blood uh, come out. <laughs> a little. All the stamina is gone. It's going into hit point. Ouch. All right. Uh, as for the smugglers, I mean, the guy in blue attacks Ghost. A natural six is not going to be hit. The guy in, in green targets Ilisi. From that far away? Sure. He's got a gun. Oh, crap. Natural five. You have to. Natural five is a miss as well. Ah, cool. <laughs> nice. Uh, back to the top of the order, Nala. Forgot that you can't roll tonight. Oh, I just crushed Adam twice. <laughs> Nala's up. Jeff? Is he's he asleep? Uh, has he fallen now asleep? asleep? Jeff. Ah, give me a poke in the back of up. I'll send him a text. I don't know if that Okay, will everybody on three. We're going to start chanting. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Okay, everybody with. <laughs> Jeff. Two, three, Jeff. Yeah, you probably put us on mute. <laughs> He's so sad. Jeffrey. Can you see him sleeping? I don't have video. Yes. yes his head is oh, yeah. he, he down cold at him. <laughs> Call head, him. His chin is on his chest. Try calling yeah. him. He has phones in his it. pocket. In the Just to confirm, are the last two digits six five on his phone? I, I got know. a pop. Okay. I was going to say, maybe Ilysi's narcoleptic. Or Nala. No, I I forget which one's which. You guys all... Oh, that's racist. <laughs> it's racist. Well, yeah, they all look the same. I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, head up. Open your eyes. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> All the technical pain for the beginning of started was worth it to watch that. <laughs> I am so glad the video came. <laughs> All right, now it is your turn. The purple person to your south has been killed. The orange person to your northwest is down, out. And is not going to be killed. Ozzy moved to the east and is now flanked by two cultists. Oops, I should use that word. Um, pink and Jeff. Are... Jeff. Jeff, it's your turn. Why don't you stand up? A... <laughs> <laughs> we killed the one that was between us, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, then two more guys came out of the right. They are different. I, definitely a, a different beast. They have flanked Ozzy. The orange one is all. I get all the way on the other side of the orange one to flank them. Uh, you are down here. Orange is dead. Orange is down for the count too. Okay. He's you, guys... you froze up. Underneath the one that's. I just moved diagonally once and attacked that one. There. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Your survival. I rolled the natural. Rolled the natural twenty. All right, it's your survival knife, right? Four. Four. Mine is a four. <laughs> four damage. <laughs> Got it. Four damage. No, he gets a minus one, so the four is his actual five <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> you know, I, I I think there's something we're missing because uh, when you hit level three, everybody got something, some kind of proficiency. I forget what it's called. Uh, weapon focus. And when you have weapon <coughs> focus, it's for all of the weapons that you're proficient with, and you get um, oh, it's a bonus to attack rolls. Oh uh, no, that's not weapon focus. It's it's something else. Uh, it's weapon specialization. Weapon specialization. That's it. And I think that gives you bonus damage. So I think. Tool, you know that? Anything? Something. <laughs> Does it is it on your sheet anymore? No, I didn't write. Okay. It's in the apple. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like a plus plus your level except for small arms, which is half your level. That's it. So you might get another point of damage in there. So it's plus your damage if you're using if you're melee, it's plus your level or half your level for small arms. That's it exactly. Thanks, Adam. 
So what does he get then? He's level three, so he get plus three damage then? If it's melee, yes. And so right. Jeff would have had some extra damage on his hits as well. So he did seven. So <laughs> that's why the, um, the character generation sheet for PC Gen there. Uh, it still says one before minus one at third level. It, blah, it's, blah, blah. <laughs> it's missing it then, I think. Yeah, I see mine. It's not taking it into account either. So I think it's All missing right. it. Yeah, it says you gain... Uh, you would add your character level to damage with the selected weapon type, or half your character level for small arms, melee weapon. All right, so instead of four, he did seven damage because he's level. Exactly. And but it says my, my strength is so bad. What was that? I have a strength. That's like a minus two to. Yeah, but this is just your level, Everything. so it doesn't matter. So. You have okay. to choose which kind of weapon to specialize. Uh, no, for everybody when they hit level three, whatever weapons they know, with whatever weapons they're proficient in, you get this bonus automatically to all those weapons. It says choose one weapon. Well, you're looking at the feat. Somebody could take that as a feat. However, if you look at your character, like your class, every class gets this applied to all the weapons that they're already proficient in. So that's melee and range? Basic melee weapons, grenades, and small arms for... Um... So your azimuth laser pistol and your and your survival knife. Right, but really, what that means is your laser pistol does plus one extra, and your survival knife does plus three extra, and grenades don't count for this. Yeah. All right. Uh, I see your Ozzy. Ozzy can go. Ozzy, go ahead. He's in a better place than me. I will take a guarded step to the right. All right. Yellow is the damage, and you have flanking too. Oh, no. And I will. F Yep, and I will fight defensively, so it's a minus two, so that Okay. Before I press enter. <laughs> hey, Bob. Do you think oh. my... You want to use one of those bennies you have? Yeah, sure. Uh do you think I could be 1d4 minus 1 because it's in my off hand versus my strong hand? You still have a negative 1 to your strength, right? So I what I think is the character generator... Uh, that was much better. We did not, Way better, Adam. We didn't add the uh, feat. Yeah, I think you have to add the that weapon specialization feat because it doesn't add it automatically when you hit third level. So I think that's the issue, is that you don't have the feat in there, and that's why. Okay. I was just wondering if it was maybe the offhand versus the strong hand. Uh, you could try. Difference. Go to thirteen uh, damage. Go to equipment. I'll, I'll switch. Up. Yeah, and see what it does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He had thirteen hit points left. Whoa. Ozzy crushes the the spiked armor, long sword wielding cultist. But you said you weren't saying that it was a cultist. Backlash. I already said it. So. So I at least you. are did, was that extra? Oh, plus I should three? say uh, it's non-lethal damage, so he's not he's not dead. Either. All right. And Ozzy, quick question: Did you include the extra plus three from your weapon proficiency as well on that? Uh, yeah, that's how I got a thirteen on a. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. What? Magic, Magic yeah. missile. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Can I send my missile? <laughs> no. You shoot one person. No, no, I'm gonna use my noose overheat because it's cool and I want to use it. Fine. Mm. Which um, does? It, hold on, getting. Is it appropriate? Situation appropriate? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot fire at them. Read, read the spell description, please. Um. It just says deal 2d8 fire damage to creatures in cone. Okay. Who are you shooting? I guess you're shooting. What, uh, was, this is a cone. 15 feet. So you're shooting the pink here. Thing up here? Yeah, pinky? the pink, pink in the top right there, yeah. Yeah. It's the only one. Yes. Uh, it says uh, you collect the heat generated by nearby bodies and devices and you vent it outward in a thermal wave. 
dealing the 2d8 fire damage in objects in the That's area. That's totally tries to transfer of heat. Yeah. Go ahead. Totally. Uh, 15 foot. Is it automatic hit? Do I get the save? I don't think so. Yeah, you get half damage on a reflex save. All yeah, right. you get reflex half. And the well, my natural one is not gonna not gonna twice for. No, it is not. Let's go ahead and roll them again. Five and one, six four, damage. Five and four. Five and one is six damage. Fourteen. Oh, sorry. All right. Um, I at least see what Ozzy went. Trigger is up. Uh, here in the south. Needs to move. Yes. Um, so one, two, three, four, five gets you there. Six gets you there. Do you have a move six? Uh, no, I don't want to move six because then I can't shoot him. I okay. Wanna pew, I want to go pew pew at him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five puts you there. That's fine. Four. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Mike? Yeah. Mike, it's not pew pew. It's pew pew pew. pew. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait for All right, we're going to go pew pew pew. We're going to shoot him. I'm so tired. Um, uh, Where am I going? 13 again? 13 against KAC? Yeah, uh, yes. Is a miss. Can you find one more? Uh. You can spend a Benny, or you can suffer your miss. No, I, I mean, I missed. I mean, it is what yeah. it is. Okay. Yeah. All right, ghost. Uh, same as before, he's going to execute a trick attack. He's just going to execute. <laughs> 1d20 plus stealth. So, uh, I don't think I succeeded. Uh, it has to, 20 would be the CR zero, unless they have a CR negative. Nope. So, misses on the trick attack, just gets a standard attack with the knife. Oops. Uh, that's incorrect. Uh, he rolled a 12, so I think he misses. Uh, a 12 is actually against KAC. Uh, KAC is a 13. EAC is a 12. He has so missed. And that's his turn. This is? That is his turn. Um, the pink one is going to move Jason to Ozzy here. Gain, gain some cover from Trigger. Literally everyone. And <laughs> take a swipe. Natural 7. There is no flanking, so it's 15. 15k uh, case. Actually, it's that is a miss. Uh, the one across from Ghost takes his swipe. Natural three is a miss. And Green makes a run for it. And he disappears pretty quickly. Oh. So. All right, top of the order, Nala. Who's the one next to me? Is that one still... Yellow is oh, Yellow is dead. Sorry, unconscious. <laughs> Yeah, well, hey, I did I just... <laughs> so there's orange all the way to the right, and then there's somebody who's ran away to the green to the left. Is that what's right? Orange is also unconscious. Orange is out All this blue in the top left and pink in the bottom right. Bottom right of the car. I... How do you not see this? Zoom in. Zoom out. No, zoom in. Yeah, he I, he must be zoomed out. Like, really. What does your zoom percentage say? In the top right corner, there's a number above the plus sign. Sixty percent right now. Okay, okay, I see. It. Uh, before I wasn't able to. I didn't try to move it, and you guys were blocking half of them, and uh, now I can see a little bit. And by the way, uh, you can move the screen if you right-click with your mouse, and that'll let you drag the screen to different locations. Or you can just drag the bars around, too. I still, yeah. I still drag the bars. I, the I don't have bars. I have a Chromebook, so I have to do two fingers. I just figured okay. it out. But okay, so my, my bad. My bad. Um, <laughs> you like the of us, then. All right, yeah. shoot my, can I shoot my lens pistol at Blue, who's running away? Uh, purple, green is gone. Blue at the top. <laughs> you can shoot at. He's got his back to you. He's because he's fighting ghosts in the top left. 
You can't well, shoot. You I wouldn't shoot somebody in the back. How dare you? I would totally shoot somebody in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shoot somebody in the back right now. Here it goes. 11, uh, for, uh, 15. That's a hit. Ooh. If you can do five damage, I need. we need five damage to take him down, I think. Two damage. They're all the one. One plus one is two. Oh, God. <laughs> two Are you sure? <laughs> is that You've been out of school, school for a while, the math. <laughs> all right, I at least steer up. She's yawning. This is the time to use your magic missile. Yeah, I want the magic missile. No, don't waste your time with the blue guy. Go with the pink guy. Well, everybody's in the... Doesn't matter. Magic Missile does not miss. <laughs> Magic Missile is just like, pew, pew, pew. You're not moving, so you get all three? Pew, pew, pew. I guess. Some... I'm kind of surprised this spell doesn't scale. As... But anyway. Yeah, you just three the the yeah. range, too. Two? Three. Because oh. it's plus one. Three. Three. Four. This is plus one. I know, only the first one was plus one. Damage each. Okay. Give you a 1d4 on each. So. Five. Nine. Niner. All right. He is not dead, but he is hurt. Okay, uh, Ozzy. Um... Well, I'm going to move around the pink guy if I can, if that... It's difficult terrain, so it will slow you down. I only need four squares. I only need to move... I can move diagonal and diagonal, and that fine. will be fine. Um, yeah, and I will just... I'm just going to do a right... And since I'm behind him, I can attack his ass. <laughs> That's so that classy. That is a hit. You're plus nine, I'm going to tell you just kills him off, off the top. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I'm on fire for my damage. Seriously, man. Ozzy tears him in half. All that remains now is the blue dot in the top left. Uh, Ozzy tears him in half. And dies. Yes. Because it's non-lethal. <laughs> Trigger, you're up. Uh, blue guy again. Blue dot. So, hold on, just shifting my screen. Uh, blue dot guy? Yep. Uh, yeah, so uh, I got a... Uh, how many squares am I? One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you moving or just shooting? Uh, I think I'm just going to shoot him. He doesn't have much left. Yeah, I think I'm just going to shoot him. Uh, 19. This? Okay. <laughs> Five points of damage it is enough to drop him. A bad habit. Yeah, yeah. yeah are you the hero or something? So we quickly tie up the cultists before they come to that we we don't know they're correct. Along with the uh, Worms. smugglers, we don't know. Yeah. Yes. I conveniently told you both of those so that I could I could reference them easier too. Uh, just a note, uh, as the blue one goes down, uh, Ghost slits his throat. Ghost slits his throat, okay, he's dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know we can see. All right. The um, three smugglers you killed mm -hmm. has a melee tactical baton, an inferno knife, and a ranged azimuth laser pistol. Cool, so let's add to our pistol uh, point. Three? As well as a cred stick with 50. They're all outfitted the same. All right, so we got three 50 cred sticks, three bat tactical batons, and three azimuth pistols, and three... Fire knives. Got it. It's in the what chat window. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Going to the... I may want to switch out my survival knife for one of those. So the Inferno knife... So nice. The Inferno knife is 1d4 plus 2... And a critical burn of 1d6. Here's, Ooh, I so like it. It says not all developments in military technology are successful. 
Originally designed to be a perfect survival tool, the Inferno knife combines the cutting prowess of a survival knife with the virtues of a lighter and a road flare. When you squeeze one trigger, the user can inject a small stream of fuel from the hilt's reservoir into the blade's tip, and a secondary trigger can ignite the tip, creating a small torch to signal others or to light campfires. The product's launch was disastrous, and users logged hundreds of complaints about the knife's needless complexity. As a result, Inferno <coughs> knives have flooded the market, and they've become showy weapons for criminals and performers, although timing the blade's ignition in combat remains an unpredictable art. And then its fourth level, analog and operative special properties, 1d4 slashing, and critical is 1d6 burn. It costs 2,100 credits in his light bulk. It uses petrol as fuel. It has enough fuel to stay lit for one hour. It sheds light in a 20-foot radius, and every successful critical hit reduces the remaining duration by five minutes. A single charge of petrol will, ref will refuel the weapon's reservoir. Cool. All right. All right. I'm grabbing one of those. All right. Uh, I'm going to go now over to the other guys, and you can decide. The cultists, there are two defiant long swords and two scatter guns. Oh, I was just reading about the scatter gun. That is cool. I'd like one of those too. And a scatter gun has 20, each scatter gun has 25 shells. And they each have a credit stick for 150. So 300 credits out of those two. Plus the hundred fifty from the other guys is four total. You said the seven the, of us, six of us. The playing. long swords were. Uh, yeah, Chris what, totally screws up all the math. What was the name of the long sword, Josh? What was that, Chris? Hey, Bob. What was the name of the long sword? What kind of long sword? They call it a defiant long sword. Okay. It has a. It's one d eight plus four for the critical. D four. Hmm. Nice. Yep. Scatter Imagine gun. us carrying a longsword bot. That'd be pretty fun. I have to agree. Oh, and a defiant, a defiant fusion. If it's, Happened is there you. a defiant fusion on that, Josh? Here. It just says defiant, so I'm assuming limited to the blade. It's not movable. Okay. Josh, I thought you said the scatter guns had 20 shells. 25. 25. Oh, I'll correct yeah. that. Sorry. Okay. Are you taking? You're taking a scatter gun as well. Yeah. Nice. Is anybody else proficient in? Uh, long it's basically arms? a shotgun. If anybody is proficient in long arms, that'd be good for them to have. Um. Yeah, I am. I don't know if I want. I gotta look it up. Adam, you just became you just became the guy from Aliens with the shotgun on his back. <laughs> I keep this baby on hand for close. There you go. <laughs> that was uh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Not to be confused with Kyle. There you go. Ghost will definitely take an infernal knife as well, by the way. All right. Does anybody else want the third infernal knife? I assume, Mikey, Mikey did you take the, uh, one of the other infernal I did. So there's one infernal knife left. Uh, the three batons are left. For the record, the baton is uh, 1d4 plus 2 bludgeting. Oh really? Yes. You know, but yeah, you know, the, the you know the thing is, you know, as a as a rat, you got to be careful on the weapons you take, right? Your size, you got to be stick. Maybe maybe I'll grab one of the batons too. I want a baton. There you go. You want a baton? Okay. Is that scatter gun a utility? Yes. Okay. Right, so it's only one d four. I mean, it's one d four and a fifteen foot. Right, so you can, you can hit multiple targets with it. It's like a, it's basically like a, it's basically like a sawed-off shotgun. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't see myself. Oh, but it's All a, right. it's got I'm... a special property, blast. Um, Took okay. it. So that's like your dragon breath. Yeah, I'm, I'm bitten my dragon breath. Does more damage. Oh, oh, by the way, while all this is going on, Ozzy's resting. <laughs> He's taking 10 minutes to rest so just and spending to, a resolve point to heal. Just to clarify, those scatter guns fire in a 15-foot cone. Anyone in the cone gets hit. Um, 
and then for every subsequent person that gets hit, it's a minus two attack. And then when you roll the damage, the damage hits everybody. So it's a it's an area weapon. That's pretty handy. Uh, we I, uh, ghost checked out the car, Josh. Anything in the car? Uh, no. Hey guys, it, was, it, it looks like they stole the car, or, or you know, maybe it was a rent or something. But they, they have, there's nothing in the car. Look, we have a we have a free car as well. Uh, he checks the GPS. Can you tell uh, where they just came from on the car GPS? It's a rental. Right. They came from the. They came from the rental office. Yes. Why do we, Why do we need the car on a planet? Uh, it's cool. You don't like to drive in a car, man. Come on, this is awesome. Look at it. It's purple. Portals just seem more efficient. Since when do you care about the environment? Hey, everybody has to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you fought for war. He checks the well, trunk of the car, and uh, he puts the dead body in the trunk of the car. Both both cultists, despite your efforts to um, keep them alive, are dead. You suspect they had some sort of poison, but the the uh, smuggler with the blue dot, uh, the old dot that you kept alive is. Uh, I'm gonna do a medicine check to see what kind of to see if I can tell what kind of poison it was. Okay, go ahead and give me a check. Thirty-two. I rolled thirty. A natural twenty. Yeah. Um, do you have culture? I do. Roll that. Somebody else give me culture, or you give me culture. Oh, somebody else can do it. Uh, I don't have I don't have culture. I can't do it. What do you got, Bob, for culture? Uh, eleven. I have good culture. I rolled an eight. With your bonus, gives you. Team. What was that? What team? Six. Six. Type it out, Jeff. You're breaking. You're really breaking out. Six. <laughs> One six. Sixteen. He's like a, a person who's just coming out of a coma, who's still slightly paralyzed, and he wants to speak, but we did not <laughs> understand him. Okay, six, I rolled seventeen. Ah, 16. Okay. So, um, Ilisi is able to identify the. Um, you all see a mark on the side of their other arms. Um, and I'll, I'll get you a picture of it tomorrow. But Ayalisi is able to recognize it as being related to the cult of the Devourer. And um, Bob, you know that as, as a cult dedicated to death like that, or, or I should say Ghost knows that a cult dedicated to death like that has multiple ways of inflicting pain, death on both themselves and everybody else. So these are the good guys. <laughs> these are really good guys. That's what we've just confirmed. So that poison is uh, probably pretty virulent stuff. Hmm. Or, in the alternative, it could be a couple of guys who just thought that it was really cool one night at a bachelor party, not realizing that they got the same tattoo as the Cult of the Devourer, and they're totally mixed up, and they just got attacked by us, chased out into the street where somebody else tried to help them, and they got killed. And uh, they were deeply allergic to like a puddle of oil on the ground, and that's what killed them. There you go. But we'll go with Cult of the Devourer. However, the, the one smuggler um, who, who was the one who was doing all the speaking, so you, the guy oh, from Claw, um, is still alive. C considering they did 26 points of damage to me, Bob, I'm not. <laughs> Oof. Wow. You should have come to my side of the. You should have come to my side of the street, Ozzy. There was no problem over here. <laughs> Sorry, I was fighting four guys at once. How many? I was fighting one really big guy. You use different mm -hmm. tactics when you fight gangs, Adam? Yeah, yeah, I just found out, you know, fighting gangs for local charity. <laughs> 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 All right, you want to 
use different tactics fighting a group than when you only have to be one. <laughs> About one! <laughs> yes, that is right. <laughs> All right, you going to interrogate this uh, this guy? The smuggler? Ghost goes back in. He, he hasn't finished his human fingers, and he starts eating Ozzy's human fingers. <laughs> the witch brings him out. I mean, there's French fried... Uh, you know, Castrovel potatoes and uh, <laughs> human fingers. Look, what you do is you take that finger, you dip it into the mashed potato, and you eat them both. Delicious. You must try it. Here, here, Ozzy, here. Why are you moving your head away? Come on, take it. Take it, take a bite. <laughs> I just last time I tried to uh, in, tried to interrogate these guys, they ran away. I think somebody else should do it this time. It should not be Lisi. <laughs> maybe maybe Nala is a is a good person for interrogation. Ah, would you think we should? Uh, what information is important to get from them? All of it. Anything about Doctor Solastar? Since that was the picture that I presented. Oh, that's what we're here for. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I know. That's why I said it. We just walked into a bar. Are there two, are there, are there two of them that are still alive? Or you One. said the oldest died and the uh, uh, other ones are still alive? Are there two alive or one alive? Just, the, just one. the orange one is still alive. The orange dot. Maybe we should just interrogate that one? <laughs> that's a great idea. Are you, are you sure you don't want to interrogate one of the... <laughs> I'm awake. All right. Um, I will try to uh, use my diplomacy. I guess I'll be nice and, and try to see what they know. Like, like uh, who sent them? Tell us what you know about the doctor. That kind of thing. Oh boy. <laughs> I rolled a 19 plus my diplomacy is 10. 29. Damn. Now walks over, buys a drink, puts it in front of the guy, puts her arm around him. We're assuming he's conscious now, starts right? Starts sweet talking him. Which one, me or the uh, guy? Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Both. Um, he admits that they're hired by those two cultists who are now dead to kidnap Dr. Solastarni and deliver him um, to the uh, warehouse. They didn't know that they were going to be transporting him to Eucalam to help in their search for some information over there. He didn't have anything outside of that. Uh, but it's clear that they made arrangements. They got open transport portals, and they have a two-day head start on you wherever they're going. Uh, Two days, I catch up. Captain, can you find out how many there were and the kinds of equipment they carried with them? It is good to know the enemy. You're kind of out there, sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll answer for you. Um, he did not know that information. He was, he was, there were people coming and going, uh, at least a dozen, if not more. Couldn't really keep track. Uh, that's helpful. As for, the, as for the equipment, it's what they would carry. Is that there is, uh, is, it's. I want to say it is, um, take to take technology, particularly like large pieces of technology, deep into the bin on the outskirts. It's allowed somewhat, but the further in you go, the less is allowed. Uh, so I don't know how this works, but. Rather than take a portal, can we just go on our spaceship and fly to where this place is? Can we fly across the, the bay there westward and just land? It is, it is forbidden to fly and land over there. Okay, but it's also forbidden to kill people in the streets of Castrovel, and we've done that. So can we just get on our ship and then fly? And that land? was self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> the, the three, all three races of the planet abide by that rule of not flying over there. But so you are looking for trouble with the, all three races on the planet. All three races also <laughs> abide by the idea of you don't kidnap professors and take them out to the to the place Eucalon to Eucaleleville. 
Like, that's not a <laughs> super compelling region, right? <laughs> I, tell, I tell you that is, that is the rule that, is, that is, is provided by, that is the law that all three races follow. Okay. They also, I heard, have heavy anti-air. See that? Okay. That's, that's helpful. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll go in on the ground, take out the anti-air batteries, go back to the ship. <laughs> <laughs> or we can hack it. Uh, is there a Starfinder satellite uh, I'll, I'll office set. here on Castrovel? Uh There is a star. There is a Starfinder, um, a small one. You, if you're looking for rest, yes. Not much more than that. Rester or... Um, Place the rest in the yeah, food, yes. Outside of that, not. Okay, so we won't get any help from the Starfinders in terms of people here. Not really. Well, we've got Chris. Chris is supposed to be your contact. Mm -hmm. He didn't quite pan out. I'm just thinking of other allies who could help us. Uh, the Stewarts, would they be interested? Uh, Ghost doesn't want to involve the Stewarts, but one of you guys might want to. Um, basically, call the cops. Uh, she was a professor, so we could call the university was... and see if they'll give us a reward for finding her or something. There could be a way we could make some money out of this. Uh, Alisi, Alisi may have a contact on the Z surface in this area of the Z planet. Yes. Who would that be? I don't. I, who is that? She is alone here. Who are you talking about? <laughs> Jeff, that was his, that was highly. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> I don't know who you are talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it looks like you're probably gonna have to. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of. I mean, you, you can call the cops, but these are are garbage cultists. They're not gonna spend a lot of time investigating that. As for the disappearance of Doctor Soul Starry, they. They don't have any leads, any more leads than you have, and they are they are restricted to the regions in which they're in as miners and non-residents. You have actually availability to go cross borders to look. For. Okay, uh, ukulele, ukulon, uh, ukulam. Say it one more time. Ukulam. 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 What do we know about that region? It's uh, it's protected or it's not uh. Ah, Yukalam. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what do we know about it? Uh, I at least see you as, and, uh, and Nala were supposed to have information, but they haven't quite passed it around. Yes, I did. Each of the three major species inhabiting the planet historically laid claim to one of the planet's four great continents. I was saying that, and you... Uh, Castrovel's fourth continent, Eucalam, was never fallen under the control of any one species for long. Hmm. Millennia ago, the three great powers came to an agreement that belonged to none at all. Even during the long-running conflicts between them, um, it has remained untamed, honored as a natural reserve dedicated to the planet's beauty. Antarctica. Expeditions exist in which a company founded a small outpost <laughs> along only a handful of these remain occupied. They start fueling station, scientific observatory, and small joint military base. Uh, the part the jewels did tell you um, tales of ancient societies that may have once ruled Euclid more grandiose than aerial surveys have ever conf confirmed. Yet at least one expedition into the continent's wild interior claimed to have discovered a complex culture dedicated to the stars. That is actually the diary that uh, Ialisi found from. Um, Zahn. It's kind of interesting that we found that behind a desk or something. Like uh, you, found, you found a copy of the diary behind the desk, like almost like somebody had hidden it there. Yeah, they didn't want who was ever coming, whoever they were, who was ever there to get to get it. Maybe she heard that he heard the uh, the door being knocked, knocked down or something, and only had a few moments to act and pushed it behind there. Kurt, perhaps. Is it a rainforest? What's the terrain? Oh, it's heavy jungle. You'll, there's actually survival to traverse it. Oh, that's interesting. 
So it looks like we're heading to the jungle. I say we, I say we napalm it and go from there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the jungle, baby. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, it works, it works in Vietnam, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, is there anything? Oh, go ahead, Josh. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, I was going to say, go ahead. What did you have, Bob? Is there anything that we would want to, to take with us if we were going into a jungle? Like, um, is there more survival type stuff that we would need than what we have right now? Um, I think if we're going to go to the jungle, we should. I just lost Mikey there. I heard up to, if we go to the jungle, we should. And then all the important oh, stuff. Oh, I said it, if, we're, if we're going to the jungle, we should take Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. roses. <laughs> all right, so, so um, Chris's character, or actually, the adventure calls for a guide to get you there. Chris's character was going to fill in that role. So um, regardless if it's Chris or that character... They will make arrangements to get you there. They'll help you get the equipment you need. Um, and I think that is probably where we'll begin next session. Sounds like a plan. I'll see if I can touch base with Chris and uh, get on Discord maybe this weekend or this week and get his issue sorted. <coughs> How did remote work for everybody? <coughs> I, I, it was pretty good. Really, it worked better than I was expecting it to. Uh, yeah, I, I guessed an hour to get it started. Chris, and... <laughs> um, but hopefully we'll do better next time. Did we want to try to play next week, or do we just want to go every other week still? I'm game for every week. Not having to drive home afterwards makes it is a huge plus. Extra sleep. Plus, I think a lot of us are yeah, I, quarantined, working from home right now, given the virus stuff. So uh, this is a nice change of pace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up for playing every week if you guys want. Jeff's like, I'm free tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Exactly. I'm> free. <laughs> Jeff, yeah, I also get a little more sleep in the morning, not having to drive down there too. Yeah, Jeff, we just got to find you the laptop you have the P90X on. Fine, you should need a Chrome for that. With that. Yeah. So you don't have a laptop, Jeff? Chromebook. Okay. Gotcha. What happened to your laptops? You just have a collection of those. Uh, we have probably twenty of them. Uh, a bunch of them are dead soldiers in Jesse's room. <laughs> we, have, we probably. We probably. They're both of their keys. I don't know. I. <laughs> if you have, right. if you have a bunch of them. Then, if there's broken parts for one, you might be able to take out parts from one and put it into the other. Like, um, there may be some opportunities to build uh, a Frankenstein out of them. Maybe. If only, yeah, there's... if only you knew a guy who was you like, into IT who, who knows could help with that. IT. Yeah. <laughs> what were you saying, Jeff? Oh, I. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I probably have one in the base, but I can. I can to fight this battle. All right, gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Jeff, here's what I would do, Jeff. I would bring all 20 of those to Josh and swap them for one game. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get rid of 20 and you only have to deal with one now. This is like... Mega that's like mega desk. <laughs> it's like Starfinder. You sell one thing and you get 10% of the value. All right. <laughs> it's, kind of like we, it's kind of like when we sell stuff back. In in, in uh, Starfinder, exactly. Here, here's one of the later Azimuth pistols that we spend seven hundred bucks on, and, and you get 10, 10 credits back. Yep. <laughs> you know, it, you know what it is. Star Starfinder it's is slightly like worse than selling books back to the uh, school. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. College, college in the semester. That's precisely it. College. Yep. Books. I bought this book for one hundred ninety-five dollars, and you're giving me sixteen. See what? I, <laughs> my theory is what happened is university bookstores they band together and they form a monopoly, and then fast forward six hundred years, and now they're the ones in charge of all the merchant buybacks for all of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sounds. I rented this for two hundred dollars for four months. Really? Is that, is that <laughs> All right, folks. All right, let's catch up that. Be safe All right, guys. Week. Uh, sorry, one more thing I wanted to mention is that uh, I put a, a screenshot of it in, in our Discord general chat. Um, my video game group put to, put together a Discord channel for um, for people to talk about books. 
the very first post was about Dresden Files. <laughs> it was on Jeopardy. It was on Jeopardy last week. Oh, seriously? That's yep. awesome. It was on And for those who are really nerdy, there is the trailer. They shot a trailer for Peace Fox that comes out tomorrow. A trailer? Oh! I will totally. Tomorrow at 10 30 a.m. And then Jim Butcher is having a live QA at 12 30 on Zoom. The first hundred people to get there are actually going to be able to video chat with Jim Butcher. Oh, that's fun. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I reminded I, one there, There's a lot of hope that they'll, they'll release the book early because of quarantine stuff, but I don't see that happening. There's a, a YouTube channel which a bunch of fans, maybe seven years ago, recorded scenes out of the book. Have I ever sent you those links? They did They did a pretty good justice to it. I've seen I've used yeah. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Send that. Put that in the Discord, Bob. Or send an email, you know, whatever. We'll do. <laughs> if you want to be all old school about it. <laughs> all right, guys. Good night. Good night. All. all right, guys. Have a good night. See you guys. Bye, everybody. Take care. Yes. Same bad time. Same bad hey. chat. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, Later. Bye. How do I hang up this course? Close it.